Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Episode 74. 70. The girls is back. The girls we is are back. So back. Hey. I love it here. We actually have a special guest today. Yes, we do. Yes. Um, I'm going to introduce herself before. <laughs> Brittany is not here today, y'all. We miss you, boo. We, we do. love we do to our sister. You. Matter of fact, though, before we start, I told her I'd call her. You know what I'm saying? Just to show a little love on here. She yeah, was she like, was like, don't forget like, to call me. me. <laughs> no, we gonna call sis so they know the vibes. Yes, we bringing you up, You might sis. not be here, but you was here in you spirit. You was here, you better spirit. answer. But why the fuck? All right. Wait, are we having phone it's technical me. difficulties? It's me. No, it's just me <laughs> oh, as the shit. difficulty. I was trying to blame for Apple. I am the difficult person. <laughs> Say <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> And she better answer. That's why I said. Mm, but y'all ain't call it. me. It's the, cat for me. it's the cat. It's the cat for me. Mm. Brittany. Brittany, we gonna get you. We, gonna we get called it. you. We gonna get it. See? Last spring. And gotta we, go. gotta we, go. we was Listen. gonna call you. But you know, shout out to our sister Brittany. Yes, She's not here. Her. B. Garrett, you know, we miss you. We happy you are doing well and you're feeling better yes. this week. Yes. And we will see you next week, sis. Yes. Mm-hmm. But the gang is still here because we yes. got to do what we got to do. Period. And we got yeah. you already know. Paris mm-hmm. to Tokyo. <laughs> Oh, that was it. I was waiting on. Oh no! I, I, I no, want no, y'all no, to show no, up for no, me. No, 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 I want y'all to show up for me. Like mention no, at the no, end, but I got to come I miss, up with mine. Listen, I, I miss know? y'all, and y'all supposed to show up for me. It's like I'm just playing. <laughs> it's your girl, Diamond Lashawn, the Diamond Lashawn. I'm talking my shit here, there, a little bit everywhere. I'm back. <laughs> Diamond is back, and then we got a special guest today. Yes. Yes. Real, I love her vibe. She's doing her thing in the city, and I want her to plug herself. Let them know who you are. Let them yes. know what you do. Let them know. Okay. okay. So my name is Paris Levesque. Yes. Um, I'm pretty much like a content creator. I do the same thing Diamond does. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, nightlife, YouTube channel, fun. I like fun shit. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. And I do teach them. So if yeah. you want one. Uh, wait, I'm you're doing them? Yes. I'm definitely oh my God, I going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely yes. coming to you guys. Yes. We're all coming. I'm Stay certified, back. so yes. I can do them. Yes. Yes. No, I'm with it. Yes. Oh, shit, nah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, nah. Brittany's in the game, mama. Hi, Brittany. Brit, we miss you. Yes, yes. Were you at a day party? Because what the fuck? <laughs> you, you at a day party? Because what? Where you at? I'm not sure. She had a time. <laughs> <Somewhere. laughs> I'm crack up. Sis, enjoy your Korean barbecue. We just wanted to say we love you. We, we love love you. you. I miss you guys so much. Hey, Callen, holding down for me. Yeah. Gang, 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 gang. We love you. Yes. Talk oh, to you later. We're starting with shot. Oh yes, I need a shot. Oh, I need a shot. Oh, and you already know days. who we got in the building. Lex is also back. We ain't see Lexi me. Sexy, the bartender, in a yes. minute, too. And the first thing she do is bring us these shots. You know, whenever Lex is in the building. Thank you. You know where the show finna go. Oh, Down bye. fucking hill. No, 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 no. <laughs> Every fucking That's time. I was thinking. I'm like, oh, and, and just FYI, one of those. turn your volume down. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Because okay. last time, it's the you know, you know, know the men's, you know, know the men's so don't like when we loud. Yeah. 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 The men's don't like when nobody's telling the truth, no matter what volume they okay. have. Okay. Okay. Y'all said y'all wanted me to come back. I came back. Look, we're gonna take a shot. Okay, to no. that. What, is, what is this? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. No, no, we this gonna is have Terramana, actually. Shout Ooh. out to Terramana. We okay. have Terramana okay. tequila. Uh, tequila, tequila nonetheless. Oh, yes. tequila. Tequila. No, I'm a vodka girl. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I would have no, said we could have done dark for you, sis. Vodka. Vodka. Damn. It's fine. It's okay. Yo, shout out to the gang. Shout out to our guests. And let's have a good pot today, ladies. Yes. Oh, I'm not ready. Yeah. Ooh, it's not that bad though. Ooh, I know. I see. I see you checking me. Let me see. Oh, I'll be on too. I'm like that. (laughs) Let me see what's going on. I can't take my shots in full. Listen, I can't take it either. Yeah, yeah. I'll be needing like chest. It's just feeling just burning. Damn. Look at everybody's face. Yeah. (laughs) These pictures are gonna be ugly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm straight out late this week, Mm y'all. How was y'all week? How was y'all week? Oh, um, we went to the zoo. Come on, zoo. <laughs> you know what? Actually, as I've gotten older, 
I notice I don't really enjoy the zoo that yeah. much. Like yeah. all these yeah. animals in captivity. Yeah. Like, I watch too yeah. many nature shows. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's like the older you get, you kind of realize what's going on. It's like, wow, yeah. y'all really just got these babies punished there? Like yeah, this? they jail. don't want to be here. Was, they are in jail. It was kind of terrible. But besides that, um, <laughs> uh, I moved next week. So I'm super oh, excited yeah. to move to my house. Yes. I can't wait. Like, that's yes. exciting. It, yes. it was a long time coming. I'm proud so of you. I'm, I'm definitely Because that's a big accomplishment. <sighs> yes. Yard. Get that breathing. Yeah. In house. My own office. Can't wait. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Can't wait for you. Come Good. on. Dabo okay. was on a world Better tour. World. Look, Dabo was on a world tour. Formation tour. <laughs> <laughs> um, this week was good. I feel yeah. like we got back on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So we just were getting acclimated these last what, three, four days yeah. since yeah. I've been home. The flights were long, like seven hours. Mm. So I was jet lagged as fuck. And they're five hours in front of us. So when I got home, it was like 3 p.m. And I'm like, it's 8 o'clock. To <laughs> it wasn't yeah, really giving that. So I was trying yeah, to get was, adjusted. Uh, but luckily, everything was good. I would recommend anybody for, flying first class if they go long fucking hours because, baby, mm, I was happy yeah. we had like one of those little sleeper mm-hmm, type mm-hmm, of joints. Yeah. But. If I had to sit up right, I don't think Shout we would have made it. Shout out to my black baby. woman in luxury because I love that for you. Bitch, I'm okay. getting my life. Hold on, okay. I'm here <laughs> I love this talk. Like this, like I'm here at first class, round. Because uh, I, I love it. I just that's, don't know. I would have made it. 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 Yeah, I'm that was my longest flight. Time. Yeah, yeah. How and, long we, was and it? then we had the baby. It was seven hours. Yeah. They estimated to be about eight hours. Yeah. But it was seven hours and. You sitting up and you traveling with your kid, yeah, and, and yeah. it's just a lot, you yeah. know. And my baby is one; he's yeah, fifteen right. months. He's tired Some babies of this. be crawling over yeah. him. Yeah. It's just been bad. But other than that, I really liked it. Shout out to United. I like, I like United. Yeah, yeah. 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 United. Yeah. My week was good. United. I feel blessed, but I feel charged up. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. I was burnt out before Some, I no, went. No, but sometimes that happens. Like yo, I like I've been experiencing burnt being burnt out, quote unquote, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on with me? But I feel like it's normal to feel that way. And I'm glad that you got a refresher yeah, point so that you yeah. can really like, because I think I'm there. Like yeah. I need a refresher right now. <laughs> and you know what? Shit. I want to say something. And killing people. I feel like Purging, we're on actually. the trip kind of, now I'm really ready to be who I want to be. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. I think that that's very interesting about travel because yes. I don't think that I really pay that much. Of, yes. Like normally when I'm Reflection. traveling, I'm going to like, yes. Always. I'm, I'm into All some shit time. and I'm like drinking and I kind of familiar with the surround. There's nothing too different, but this was so different. Yeah. And it was such a different experience for yes. me that seeing how other people live, I was telling Paris in the car, like, these bitches be 18 years old with Goyard bags and <laughs> two week holidays. Okay. And, Living you know, life. living their best fresh, life, mm-hmm. beautiful lives, and yeah. just to ima- be imagine, like I said to her, drinking prosecco on a yacht at eighteen in the middle of the Mediterranean. Like that sounds so luxurious, it but does. this is regular life for yeah. a lot of people, yeah, right? And right. so after I saw that, I was really like, oh no, the possibilities are endless. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. And coming home, I was just like, oh no, when yeah, baby, it's up from here. Don't play with her. I was like, if I want to wear these. Let me buy a little perfume with a little oud in it. Okay. Let me get a little of this. Let me get a little of that. Yeah. My pieces. That's, yeah. Ooh, you know, get my shit together so I can have my boys and nice. do my things. And yeah. So I yes. feel like it was inspiring more than it was a refresher. Yes. And mm-hmm. I really, really, really appreciate your for that. Yes. Yeah. I that's love great. that for you, friend. Yeah. I like when I love you that, travel I love and it makes you feel yes. like that. Yes. That's the best feeling. Like, like, a, like a nice little reflection. Like, you know what? I did this and I'm going to do more of this. So I got do more and I gotta I be like more that was my first and time. I gotta be refreshed to do more I love and it and as controversial as this is gonna sound it was the white people yeah yeah. But you no, this like, when I go to like the regular tourist spots, I'm seeing people that I'm familiar with seeing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when I was out there and I'm seeing people that's really like naturally blonde hair, blue eyes. I'm yeah. seeing people who have accents who speak more than one language. Right. Yeah. I see them speaking yeah. English, then they're going into Italian, then they're speaking Spanish to Spaniards. Mm-hmm. They're going from one point to another. They're yes. ordering shit that I don't even know what it really is. Yeah. And I know a lot of shit. So to be one up by people who don't look like me, it's like, oh, no, nah, I need to get on my shit. Yeah. 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 Let, yep, me, yep. let me pull out my Rosetta Stone because I'm learning another language. You <laughs> mm-hmm. just got me fucked up. Like, that's how I felt. Yeah. And yeah. I really liked that. I really liked that because it, no. it yeah. put me on my toes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 How was your week, Paris? That's good. My week was good, except for yesterday. No, was it yesterday? I was telling Diamond. 
Somebody broke into my friend's car. Yeah, she was oh, telling me that. Stole my book bag. My camera was in there. <gasps> I thank God my laptop wasn't. Yeah. yeah. I'm uh, very happy that it was. But I, I mean, it could have been worse. Because us, us content creative bitches need not a First of all, yeah, no, I'm, I'm here. Even definitely. your camera being gone. That's yeah, that's I'm just like, oh, I don't think people understand how much you invest into your craft. Yeah. Yeah. Cameras and ain't cheap. Have it, like, taken. Not, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And like to have somebody have to start over. You don't know what I got on there, what yeah. memories yeah. I got on there. And it's just like, be mindful. Like, just I'm sorry that happened to you because that's just not. They just living it's, in poverty. Yeah. And it's like you old poverty street. You just acting yeah. yeah. po. You just acting fucking po. Acting po. And it's right. like every time you go out, damn it. Yeah, like come on. And then yeah. my friend, she had a baby, so the car seat got glass all in it. Like just be, you know, like just be, just right. be mindful. Yeah, I mean, like, it's just on. like what kind of just nasty ass person to see a car seat and still rob the car. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. like that's you exactly. don't that motherfucker got a kid, yeah. nothing like that. Yeah. 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 Really yeah. yeah. I'm really pissed off. I'm like, now you gotta yeah. get, probably gotta right. get a new car. If I'm a thief, I'm just at least skip the uh shit, I'm gonna leave the baby. You know what I'm saying? If I see a basketball, oh, it's a high school student. Yeah, they don't care about the I would be a thief. With they don't. Really don't. I guess. Like, they really don't care. And it's like, all, stuff like this bit. always happens to me when I'm feeling like very motivated. I'm like, yes. all right, bet. Yes. I'm about to dish out this video this week. Child. But guess oh, what? Boy. I want to say something to you. And I hope this empowers you, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> me with my shit. Okay, no, yeah, for real. Yeah. So one of my favorite books is one of my favorite books is um The Alchemist. Okay, right? I love. That. I always and hear about it. The first time I read it, it was slow as fuck. So couldn't get into it, but then I pushed myself because I was like, "It's something good in this book. Keep reading, keep reading." Mm-hmm. And I finally got to the middle, and then I got to the end, and I was like, "This fucking book is amazing." But anything, anyway. Long story short. There's something about beginner's luck. When you first start, everything goes well, yeah. right? It goes easy. Everything's in your favor because they don't want you to give up on yourself so easy, yeah. right? But once you get to the middle and you get to like the meat and potatoes of like you actually getting yeah. somewhere, yeah. you actually having a following, yeah. you are actually paying yeah. attention to you, or things are just going your way if you're yeah. not a content creator, shit gets harder. No, yeah. like every And I just away. wanted to say like in the end, it all works out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yes, we're discouraged. Let's raise a GoFundMe to get you a camera. Okay. 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 <laughs> And keep making your videos because I remember yeah. you were one of the first YouTubers. I, I was like, okay, she looked like me. She from yeah. her area. I like her. And I was oh, like, no, oh, I she can view. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't, you know what's Stop funny? It, I don't think people understand, like, just even being an individual, just having that impact, you know. So yes. I never met Paris Ooh. ever. This is our really? first time meeting. Mm-hmm. Never but met our her. Our first time meeting was random as fuck. Yeah, yeah, too. it was. It was. <laughs> I like wearing the meetup. Me too. Yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. be the best one. But I've always followed her content. And I think it speaks volumes on the creator that yeah, you are. Because I yeah. think that a lot of people, like, they see you. But, like, I think it feels good to be acknowledged for your work. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm that finally. Feels better. All right. I'm finally experiencing that. So now I go, people like, oh, you were You hear yeah. yeah. like, yeah. 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 me. Yeah. 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 my work. But. It speak volumes because it's the work you put in. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. it, it makes you feel good because it's like, okay, what I'm doing mm-hmm. is working. Right. So it makes you want to keep going. And that alone, I understand your camera's mm-hmm. lost, but you know, we got to keep the ball rolling. Yeah. But you better still be motivated. Yeah, yeah. I am. I'm kind of okay. motivated more. Yeah. I ain't going to yeah. let it stop yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. That was the only thing, but I had a great week. Yeah. Yeah. Besides that. Besides yeah. that, yes. of course. Yeah. But, and I good. hosted like um, OZOs. That was yes. fun. Okay. It was my first time in the club since the um, pandemic. Yeah, you had a good time. Not like well, Ozio's yeah. is not prices. Ozio's from Ozio's. Yeah, because like, yeah. yeah. like, I remember like like when we be. was running through Ozio's. Ozio used to be jumping, lit. yeah, lit. But that was yeah. years ago. And yeah. also yeah. like, <laughs> years that was years ago. That was years ago. So child. weird now though, because we've been locked down. So yeah, it's like, I was just like kind of like. So and you know we're about to. I mean, today it's supposed yeah, to. I was telling her. We wrote that. So what are the clubs doing? Because I know it's like they wear masks. In the club. They, any indoor activities are supposed to wear masks. So what I'm thinking is Rosebar will be able to get away with it because they're on the rooftop. Yeah. So they can open, open the tarp it. and technically they'll be outside. But yeah. for any of the indoor clubs, it's going to be kind of janky. I yeah. know for right now, since summer is still in effect, it'll mm. probably work because, you know, your barcode got an outside yeah. terrace. Yeah. Right, right. You know, a bunch of the other places got outside Once terrace. Even break. OZOs, if they open the windows, all yeah. of their windows, yeah. technically yeah. they yeah. kind of outside, outside right. too. Yeah. Yeah. They're technically supposed to be rooftop. Right. Yeah, they so are. Yeah. a lot of places can kind of get away 
away with it for now, but as long as it's for now. I yeah. don't know how yeah. it's going to look later, right. but it said that down. they can still stay open at full capacity, just yeah. wear masks. Mm. So I don't know what it's how giving, long but... is that going to last? Right. So let me tell y'all about my week. Let me, let's yeah. hear it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I had a really good week. I bought a new Mercedes this week. <gasps> yes! And I feel really I'm good sorry, about I'll it. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll turn y'all volume down. Yeah. I'm such a hit little hen. And it's actually kind of what you were saying. So, you know, one of my friends, we were talking and, you know, because I ain't going to lie, like, at the end of the day, like, I'm all about saving money. So, you know, I had, my car was totaled, like, a month ago, fully paid off. Totally. Ain't no, no, like, mm-hmm. da, da, da. Love my little Nissan, no, no. And I was kind of, like, heartbroken. Don't you just love the paid off cars? I, oh, my God. I was heartbroken because I'm like, this is the sweetest situation. I don't got yeah. paid off. No, I don't got paid off. Yeah. 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 So, I was kind of going through it. And, you know, like, um, I was talking to Paris. I remember I was like, girl, I got to get a new car. I was like, but, you know. I'm at this age and I feel this way of like, I just want to, along my journey, I don't want to have to arrive to have nice things. Along the journey, I want to keep being in nice things so it could keep me wanting nice things. Yeah. So I might got a little Mercedes car right now, but I want the truck. Okay. Like, you know, yeah. I, want, I want to keep going up. Yeah. So I was like, but I like the feeling of being in. Because yeah. everything makes you feel different. Like, yeah. I ain't going to lie. This is my first like luxury car. Like, I've had cars, girl, but ain't never. I never had. My like, truck was my first one, too. Listen, yeah. and mm-hmm. I sit in it and I was like, okay, no, I got to be dressed to sit in this. Yeah. Like, okay. Or I got to be. You. Like, yeah. I got to be on my shit to sit in this. You know what I'm saying? I got to be on my shit to sit in this. I'm not trying to be no bum driving no Mercedes. Okay. I want to have, you know what I mean? Half ass in and driving. No, I want to be that bitch driving a Mercedes. Yeah. So it kind of up my motivation and yeah. I kind of want to keep doing that for myself. That was yeah. my first nice purchase for myself. And you're going to be in a have it and you're gonna have it you know what i'm saying so like even like you said like you know just buying yourself little nice things i bought myself some ysl foundation today it's okay close to fucking gay. <laughs> yeah and, you know and i was telling myself and you I was look like, flawless per you. usual but i now, mean hey but it, like little things like that matter. Matter. Yeah. i was like the whole time it was the same price as nars that's really why i bought oh, it i love nars that's why i use i'm black for my nars now i gotta go foundation i really my foundation wasn't matching my skin you know summertime changes so i was like okay i'm gonna go get nars but I had got a sample of the YSL one time and I like loved it, it, but I used it all up. Like I, it was like yeah. this big, but I was like, oh my God. always give you the small. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You know they don't saying? want you like, had too much fun. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They want you to come back and buy the most. I get it. <laughs> so I was like, I was walking to the NARS, but I looked at the YSL. I was like, damn, I wish I, I would buy that. But I looked at the price. I said, oh, no, no we buy that today. Yeah, yeah. That you know why? Want me to tell you why? Because YSL belongs on Mercedes, Mercedes Benz, bitches. That's what it is. She said, oh, hello. She said, oh, that's what I'm saying. Why YSL in my Mercedes? Look. <laughs> but all that to say is, I just think along the journey, it's okay to like treat yourself yeah. and put yourself in positions to make you want more yeah. and do more. Yeah. Just like traveling, you go yeah. different places, it makes you feel different ways. And yes. feeling different ways puts you just in that high vibrational spirit. Oh, yeah. That Absolutely. really makes yeah. you like attract even more. Yeah. Like, yes. and I feel like even that week, like things just have been kind of like falling in my lap. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I was, I mean, it's a pretty lap. lap. It's, it's a <laughs> <laughs> Real clean, real clean, real clean, okay. real wax. Yeah, you know what I'm real pretty lap. You know what I'm saying? Real pretty lap. So, I like that. Real pretty lap. Real pretty lap. You yeah. know, and I was saying to myself, I was like, damn, God's really been blessing me. Before I even got the Mercedes, like, yeah. I had a blessed July. Like, I mean, That's amazing. opportunity and money was falling all over the place. And I kept saying, like, yes. like all through the way, I kept praying to God because I was like, I want to be in a such a high vibration, vibration spirit that I'm just attracting this yeah. naturally. Yeah. Yeah. I told Paris before I got Mercedes, I was like, you know, if God won't put me in a little Mercedes. Okay. Yeah, you did. Like, you did say I that. called Paris. <laughs> she, she had the, the uh, steering wheel. She was like, I was like, look at my steering wheel. Bitch. I, I want to see that. I want to get the steering With wheel. With your nails. Oh, first okay. of all, they're tired of me in my car already. And y'all going to be tired because I work hard. Okay. I'm not tired. I want more. Listen, Give me exactly. More. And I'm just really here for like this the level up for everybody, mm-hmm. whatever that looks like to anybody, mm-hmm. like whatever you want, like, cause Mercedes and like these things are like, are not the end all, mm-hmm. but it just makes you feel good to be able to yeah. do things that you yeah. once could not. I remember yeah. Yeah. my credit was like, and I couldn't pull a Mercedes off the lot for shit. And yeah. I was just like, I yeah. wish yeah. one yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. And it just feels weird to be in that one day. Mm-hmm. And I really always like, no, you it's always crazy, manifest right? what you want. Yes. Yeah. And I'm yes. really in a space where I'm literally watching all my manifestations like, doop, 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 yep. doop, yeah. and I'm like, Dang, like, I remember I was talking about this, like, this year, this year. So that's just my encouragement to everybody just to keep doing your motherfucking thing. I mean, because Keep manifestation is like, a real part. Yeah. Because I remember, honestly, yeah. after you said that, like, saying, like, what you were saying about your Mercedes and then you ended up in one, I wonder if any, I wonder if my best Talk friend is watching it. this because I, like, I want to say maybe like three months ago, I was like, bitch, I feel like we need to be out in Greece in the middle of the Mediterranean mm-hmm. drinking Prosecco. Mm-hmm. And while it Paris. wasn't, and while it wasn't 
Greece, it was definitely, definitely the middle of the Mediterranean. Yes. Okay. Yes. Exactly yes. what Stephanie was talking about. The power of speaking <laughs> over your life. Okay. I'm trying to tell it, you. It, yeah. The more I keep saying, nah, I'm this, I'm that. I, every day oh, I watch baby. myself yep. unfold, yep. unfold yep. into One that. One thing it's that I important. learned is that whatever you want for yourself, God in the universe will conspire with Listen. you. Yes. Okay. But don't and be conflicted because you will you will confuse yeah. them. You have to know exactly what you want. And you got to act like you want it. Exactly. You really have to be right now. Yeah, yeah. Who do you want to be and what do you want your life to look like? If yeah. it doesn't matter, you don't have to be scared or afraid no, yeah. of it. What do you want and what yeah. do you want your life to look like? And just be mm-hmm. ready for level up come. Yeah, yeah. Be like, okay, just be ready. ready. Yeah, so, it's like almost you got to like fake it till you make it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. absolutely. It really yeah. is that. Speak that shit over your life. Listen, yeah. basically. And you know, I, I was so pressed because I, like I told you, I remember before my credit was like trash and I couldn't do like what I wanted to do. So, mm. you know, my car no real decent. My insurance is high now. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, that insurance be kicking a bitch ass. I ain't going to lie. We finna had to find, shop some more on insurance because yeah. that's how. But my car note being decent, I'm like, damn. Like, I remember when I had a lesser car for a higher mm, car yeah. note because yeah. I couldn't mm-hmm. do these things. But, yeah. you know, on top of the manifestation is putting in that work because, yeah. you know, I also shout out to the credit goddess. I also got my credit together and yeah, I made sure I was looking. And then I had to stay down for a long yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. So that shit. You yeah. stay down but, and then you came but up. But you come up. You, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, I'm having a good week. I feel real blessed. You feel what I'm saying? Probably still going, you know, kick my night off. I am um, kid and man free this week, and I'm very excited okay. about it. Okay. Where is we going? Okay. Everybody is gone. Where are we going? Because we, we can make a move, and I've loved Period. every second. Because let me tell you something. The motherfucking Frenchie upstairs is tearing up my motherfucking house. No, Yo. Don't play with Layla. Come listen, get your niece. look, we we had to get a whole Come Don't play with my niece. girl. Cause Layla, listen, she she's can, she acting out of control. Play, play with baby Moose. Oh, they, God. You can't they about honestly, enough time for each other. She not mine. I'm not sticking beside her. I'm really <laughs> no. tired of Layla this week on God. Like, What's she been doing? Yo, she's been ter- Yo, she tore the what's the name down here and been tore the she whole under the couch up. She mine. Tore at like my I'm shoes. Up. I was like, Layla, <laughs> are you okay? What is mommy doing wrong? I bought you snacks. I bought no, you toys. No, her and baby Moo you... are perfect. Because baby Moo been fucking scratching up every motherfucking thing in my house. Like, he a little puppy. Like, <laughs> like but she's know. so cute. Take her. You Take her. That, like, I be wanting to be mad at her. And I'm like, just come cuddle with me. You yes. fucking menace. Like, yes. she's so cute, though. She's so cute. She is. She's so, so cute. All that to say, I have been stuck with Layla. That's the only thing I have been stuck with. She has been doing a number on me. However, I'm outside. I'm outside. I'm outside. I'm outside. <laughs> what outside. you said? <laughs> so, um, period. Great week. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So Sum let's get into these motherfucking times. I'm ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, you I'm ready. ready. You know, when I get that face on. Look at my drink. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Yes. Drink is everything. Shout out to Lexi on yeah. the drink. Lex, what is this? It is so bomb. What can I tell the people? Mm. And that's Mango, exactly what it tastes like. Lemonade margarita. Um, and it does exactly taste like that. That's it's so yummy. I'm like, like trying not to drink it all. I'm like, hold on, slow down. I know. No, slow drink slow it, baby. Down, she gonna slow refill down. you. Me. She gonna refill. She gonna refill. It. Look, she gonna find you. Lexi gonna she hang gonna find you. I, swear, I will find you. And I and I have a special set of drinks. And I will kill you. One thing about <laughs> it, she gonna find you. Yeah. So the topics today. All right. All right. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm I ain't gonna lie. I fucking grown to hate the word submissive so bad. Oh, Lord. Like, I really hate it. And Lord. and it's not that it's because it's a negative thing. I just feel like it comes with so many negative connotations. And every time I hear the request, it's not directly submission. Yeah. yeah. It's been tied to mm-hmm. all these false narratives of what people Submission think it should is. be. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like- Which kind of like are dipped in a little bit of narcissism and yes. controlling. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. And it really bothers me because I like I keep hearing these conversations and just like even dealing with it in my own personal endeavors, it's just like, why aren't these women submissive? Why aren't y'all? Ciao. And why don't you- and it just always be feeling like it's tied to slave and nanny. and <laughs> yeah. That's why I be like, it sounds like slavery to me. It, it, it does. And I think that, like, ideally, you know, I came across the question because, like, I do want to be soft. I love my feminine side. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Love I don't want to be tough and rugged and thuggish. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I really, I really want to be soft. And which made me think, love, why is it? Why does that it bother me what's being asked and what is it tied to and what does it look like for me? So my question is, and we can go around the room, what does submission look and feel like to you? And and what do you ultimately think it means? Oh yeah, P. I like, I like the 
be <laughs> so, Where okay, we at? Listen. So, I mean, for me, one, my man would be like, hell no. You is not submissive. And yeah. you do what the fuck you want to do. Because you're a Virgo. <laughs> Okay. Because I'm a fucking human. Like <laughs> overall, but overall, I, okay. yeah. Overall, I mean, I'm a human, and I don't like to be told what the fuck to do. Period. Right. Um, I feel like it comes at an extension. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like certain parts of my relationship, I will be submissive. If you ask me to cook you a meal, like, all right, cool. Yeah. Like, I'll make sure you got three meals a day. Well, <laughs> two, two, it's a three, two, maybe two. <laughs> um, but. As far as like, especially the definition of being submissive, it's supposed to be taking orders. Mm-hmm. Like, um, you are my authority figure, and it's not my man that. is not my authority figure. Are you <laughs> my man? Is not my same. I got one yeah, day. We're supposed to be on the same level, well, so we'll I'm just... not going to submit to you in any type of way, except maybe when you ask me to do something. If you say a nice. Yeah. Yeah, if you say it nice, if you talk to me nice, I'm going to do the things that you want. But I'm not just going to, it has to be earned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Point blank period. I feel like it has to be earned, all those things. Um, But I'm not the submissive type. I have an opinion. I'm going to state it. Um, I feel like generally I'm a passive person, but in my relationship, no. It's not going to happen. Because you're not going to walk all over me. That's too close to home. Yeah, Yeah, Mm -hmm. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Diamond. <laughs> Talk your shit. Okay. Hi, Diamond. So am I submissive? I feel like, okay, it depends. Mm-hmm. When I was somebody's girlfriend, somebody's sneaky link, somebody's situation, no, I'm not submissive. Because what the fuck are you talking about? Like, <laughs> like is it a yeah. ring on my finger, nigga? Yeah. Do I still got to go to work, nigga? Like. What? Like, you know, I probably don't, like, care what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, I care, but, like, we're going to argue about it. It's yeah. not about to be given, like, he said, and that's and that's, that's fine. I'm going to stick beside it. It's not giving that. Yeah. You know, I feel I like just... at this point, however, <clears throat> I'm a lot more submissive than I've ever been. Mm-hmm. But I think that that's probably because my man take more charge in our household than I've ever had demonstrated to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Like, I don't work nowhere. I don't really got to really want for nothing. Yes. Like, if I say, ooh, I, I love that to go you, to friend. Neiman's today, it don't, it's not really given, like, a hard time to make it happen. Yeah. Um. So, if he asks me something or if, a lot of times, I think, for me, me being in my submissive bag, he don't have to ask me. Yeah. Right. Like, the house is going to be clean before he say something. Mm-hmm. The laundry just going to need to be put away. It ain't going to need to be washed. Like, that's normally, like, my vibe for me. Um, because I don't want him to feel like, you don't never have to ask, why do I have to ask, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I'll cook a, a bunch of different types of stuff per week so he can pick, you know, and I don't have to keep, you know. Yes, I, I kind of figure out how to make shit work for me yeah. in my submissiveness. But like like you said, I feel like there's a limit to that. Yeah. If you telling me, no, you can't go nowhere. You got to stay here. You can't wear this. You can't go here. You can't. It's like, given, are you, are you fucking mad? Like, Man. I don't want to deal with anybody who feels, I feel like submissiveness is more of a, I trust you and your judgment. Mm. Yes. Yes. I don't think submissiveness is, I'm a dominatrix and you're my sub. That's, yes. that's entitlement. That's, that's given. Yeah, that's, that's, that's entitlement. That's, 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 mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. You should be lucky. I'm yeah. with you. You need to do what I tell you. No, that mm, right there. Yeah. Listen, my daddy did and gone. You, mm-mm. Yeah. Okay. You ain't the nut to fertilize the egg, baby. So I don't know who you think you're talking to. Right. Like, that's my vibe. But I think if you're coming from a, a perspective where you're just kind of like, my judgment is good. I want you to trust my judgment. Um, and in the event you don't trust my judgment, I'm gonna give you a reason to trust mm-hmm. my judgment. Yes. Then, 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 then <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can yeah. kind of be like, I can get with it. Yeah. You know, um, do I ask what you want for dinner before I just make it? Yes, because you bought the fucking food. I'm gonna ask you. But if it's given like, huh, I want potatoes. Go pick them from the garden. <laughs> you can kiss my ass. Yeah, yeah. Right? There's, I feel what like there's limits. Because what are we talking about? Because what are we really right. fucking talking right. about? Right. I feel like there's limits to that. I feel like I always put my own autonomy first. Yes. 
Because as a woman, I had to learn how to exercise that. And I'm not going to let any man, any situation take that away from me. Mm -hmm. However, I do believe in trusting a man's judgment if yes. they pay their weight. Yes. If yes. Yes. they're worth yes. their weight. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, that's that's where I'm at with it. Yeah. So is everybody here taking? I was, I was going to ask you because I always ask, always ask, what Are you is your single? status? Because, you know, the people always want to know. You're oh a gorgeous lady. What it? What's your status? I'm single, single. Okay, single, well, single. Why don't you everybody who sits it. in this seat be single? single. It's no, the for real. Seat. That's that's the single seat. That's the single seat. Okay. Perfect. Right. <laughs> I'm mad though. I'm not. Yeah. I was just talking to Paris about how at every stage of your life there's a certain different set of perks. Yeah. You have perks when you're taking, you Absolutely. have perks when you're kind of in a situation, yes. you have perks when you're yes. married, yeah. Yes. You when you're single. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely a level of perks. Yeah. Dating wise, it was a though, for me. <laughs> I feel like it still applies because I'm sure you meet men that yeah. it need and want, require, sure. you know, scouting, which you offer and those things. Mm -hmm. Like, so I think it's still like, what does that mean for you? Like, and, and, and even on your dating journey, like, what does that look like for you? Do you not want a man that comes in like, I need you to. Like what? What does that look like? So to you? I'm a Taurus. So Ooh. I'm. Oh, I love your birthday. My mommy's a Taurus. My mom's. A oh, that's my mom's birthday. Really? My son's a Taurus. That's my mom's birthday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Taurus is all around. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a Taurus. Yeah. So I mean, my whole life I don't listen anyway. I'm <laughs> the little baby mom. who don't listen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> for real, for real. But I just feel like, like you said, it's earned. Mm -hmm. I need. I. Listen, I have one dad, so you're not about to tell me yeah. what I can wear. And your dad is in your life, yeah. very much alive. Yeah. Yeah. He's a Gemini, actually. Oh, oh. so you trained oh, in like oh, man. she trained in like motherfucking yeah. like yeah. prepared. He, he, he molded her very prepared, yeah. very good. Sure. But yeah, so I never did great with like a controlling yeah. nigga. But I yeah. feel like for real, for real, it just depends. Like, I'm going to let a man be a man. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm not because that's right, Taurus right, right. nature, though. Yeah. My mom's a Taurus. She's very much so. My mom's a Taurus. That man, mm -hmm. let that man be a man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Women no. business, female, yeah. like, men business. She's very traditional in that My aspect. mom's the same. She's mm -hmm. a school yeah. young nigga. Let me tell you about yeah. what you do, what they going to do. Right. Like, that's men. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, something my mom said, you know, my mom's Jamaican. She was like, I'm my name, Niam. <laughs> She's always like, like, a man is his name. So you yeah. should know his nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, this is female nature. This is man nature. That's so yeah. a Taurus. Like, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm not with the whole, like, entitlement yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I'm doing me. You're going to do you. Yeah. yeah. But, like, if you want to mount the TV, hell yeah, mount the TV. Yeah, please. Yeah. Like, okay. if you want to take me to dinner and you want to go to, here, we going. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, take right. the lead. I like yeah. when a nigga take the lead. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. and you I'm, guys like manly men, though. Mm -hmm. Like, manly men. Yeah. Like, people who actually know how to, like, be hands yeah. and do yeah. some shit so around the house. Do you think you're a submissive woman overall? Listening to y'all, I'm like, damn, she right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> here I am thinking I was. But Look, as I... But, as I I'm sorry. So no, yes, say it, say it, say it. As, as I thought about the question, I was like, yeah, like, I, I'm submissive. Sure. Then when you really but, break down, really it depends. It, um, yeah, it, de it just depends so on the let situation. Me, let me read the definition. Okay. Inclined or ready to submit or yield to the authority of another, unresistingly humble, humbly obedient, submissive servants, marked by indicating oh, no, submission or yeah. yielding <laughs> to the authority of another. So yeah, like when I read that, I, I mean, was like, yeah. I, I, so I, 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 so I, reading that is that based off the definition? Obedience, authority. Yeah. All I heard was authority and servant, and bitch, it lost my interest. Listen, yeah. here's the thing: the only time it I lost my interest ass is in the bedroom. So obedient. And that's, and that's I don't know that. when that's that will come okay. into play. That sounds like a close. dictatership. We can like, we can role play, so but I don't know if that's so, about to be given in real life. So yeah. where did that become a thing <laughs> that women needed to do? I, mean, I think you, just traditionally, I right? think I think that yeah, like you said, Paris is traditional. I mm -hmm. think that the men back then, I think one episode I was talking about how you needed to have a man in order to have a bank account. At yeah, one point mm -hmm. in life, right. Mm -hmm. So I think that at one point in this here American lifestyle of mm -hmm. ours, and not just American overall, all over the world, right? Yeah. And some places are still very much so like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that due to that fact, men felt like, shit, you need me. You better mm -hmm. do yeah. what I'm telling you to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like now the young the young men in our in our generation, they 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 wish they had that pool. Yeah. yeah. But the fact that we're pulling our own weight and yeah. we're doing our own yep. shit. And if in the event that we are kept like myself, we can still be like, oh boy, I can go get a job. Yeah. Right. They they realize that they can't really pull it like that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So 
you know, it's giving, yeah, you were a slave to your man because you had to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You had to make sure his motherfucking call was starch because. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said. It's a starch. Right. Because if he said, I'm leaving your Becky. I'm leaving your Ethel. Your ass yeah. is going to be left. Okay. And you was going to have to figure yeah. out how to make money. Make money. Right. 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 And your ass yeah. can't get a job. But they ain't giving that in this year 2021. Right. Okay. Yeah. I right. feel like it really changed. Like yeah. back in the day, like our parents. Hell yeah, our moms were probably yeah. crazy. Right. Yeah. Now, that's what I mean. Like, we are, like, bossing Hold up. Yeah. I, right. think we're, I think yeah. we're aware and of our autonomy, but we're respectful of the wishes of our partners. Right. Yes. Ooh. That's a good way to put it. Come on, Diamond. Yeah. I respect you. Yeah. But don't but come like, in here acting crazy. You right. come in here. Don't be running in and out. You come in here, you got to stay here. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. So for me, I thought I was submissive at a time until I really dug in deep to the definition. Mm -hmm. And I just don't want to have authority. Yeah. And I'm not a servant. Yeah. And it's something that I even said this week. I feel like a lot of men associate like submissiveness and like, you know, or they'll call you like, you're superwoman. You could do everything. And I'm like, no, I can't. Right. And I don't want to be. Right. Because okay. I feel like you guys are tied submission and superwoman with Oh, now I respect. Slave. I respect. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I enjoy gender roles. Yeah. Yes. Like, yes. 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 Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. But it's like, it's like, you do know where everything is. You do do everything. You always make it happen. But I don't want to be judged by the Take amount of the weight load. I can hold. Okay. Because that no longer makes me submissive, you know, and that's how burnouts happen. That's how, you know, just a lot of things. People are broken down by the yeah. weight that you have on your back. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to have. 30,000 things on my back for you to consider me submissive or superwoman. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I want to be able to handle my life. Don't gracefully. equate my worth to my work. Right. Yeah. Don't do that. And I, exactly. And I feel like, you know, uh, so many times I feel like I hear men, they ask for submissive them. And I'm like, do you guys know what this really yeah, means? What do, yeah. do you like, know you the actual definition? And do you understand what it means? I think a lot means? of them do know what it means. That's what they're asking for. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, Listen, I think, bitch, yeah. fall in line. I think <laughs> fall the fucking line. You know what? And when you think about it, you have to really like get to the nitty gritty about these these men's conditionings and where they're yeah, coming from yeah. a lot mm -hmm. of them are wanting you to listen to everything that they say because guess what they didn't feel hurt mm -hmm. when they were coming up mm -hmm. right. so they want to feel hurt by the woman that they with yeah. you know what I'm saying they want to feel like oh I could tell her whatever she's gonna do and she's gonna do it because my mama reason, wouldn't do it look my mama didn't care my daddy mm -hmm. ain't care mm -hmm. the only person that cared was my grandmama and mm -hmm. I, I need me a woman that's like my grandmama gonna do oh, whatever no. I say <laughs> you know like they want they gonna that, fuck your grandma <laughs> listen listen <laughs> I just get it. That just be you know, really what I be really wanting to say. Like, like, nigga, fuck your grandmother. Like, your grandmother. I ain't never going to say that. Want, but like, but on I the pod, like, on the female podcast, low key like, in my head, I'm like, nigga, fuck your what? grandma. What? Nigga, no, your grandmama. I, say, feel, I feel like genuinely All jokes, it's a joking. thing where <laughs> it's childhood trauma and they That's want like somebody else shot. to beat up on because they their inner child is wounded. Yes. Yeah. Because what real strong man who feels confident in every facet of their life that feels like, hey, I'm here, I have a purpose, I wouldn't want anybody bossing me around. Who, what kind of man like that would want to bitch their girl? Exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm. A lot of this yeah. shit is childhood trauma. Like, I feel small. Someone made me feel like I wasn't worth it. Someone made me so feel like I was there running the errand yeah. boy. Mm -hmm. So I want somebody to feel like that too because that's what love is because they said they loved me too and they treated mm -hmm. yeah. me this way. Yeah. So that's the kind of love that I need from somebody I don't else. Like that. And it's giving... I don't like that for Hello? me. Hello? Or any of my sisters. I don't. Trauma. I don't mm -hmm. like it. It's giving and, police? Yeah. Get them over here fast, please. Blink if you need help, bitch. Blink. Blink twice. Just blink. Blink um, <laughs> and you know, so I be trying to help the men's because I'm like, okay, maybe if y'all understand from a certain perspective, maybe you can understand that what you're asking of women sometimes is unrealistic. Like you're asking yeah. your woman to low key be your servant, um, for you to be their authority figure. And in some, in some strange way, I feel like some niggas is like, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You know, like, some men, some men are yeah. off on that. Some men are like, yeah, that's what my bitch was to do every day. Yeah. When I tell her get in this Ugh. room, she gonna get in this room. <laughs> 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 She gonna listen. I don't want to fuck my slave master. Right, so. Cause yeah, <laughs> let's hit the deck. <laughs> Save yourselves. Like at this what? point, I what? I don't like that. So you want me to motherfucking shine your boots and throw this pussy oh, back? No. Not the shoe shine. It's giving Maybe. extra slave. Not the shoe shine. Yeah. No. Really? You, no. You want me to motherfucking get on my hands and knees and scrub the floors like Cinderella and I will still not. throw this ass yeah. back? Wow. Wow. No. Wow. You're no. crazy. No. You're crazy. No. So I feel like the young generation now, I think that's, <laughs> I think they made it kind of worse. 
They did. They, they did. They, they come did. into the table with more demands and less fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, they come to the table. Yeah, I want my bitch to work. I want her to cook. I want her to take care of the baby. Do, I want sweetheart? her to fuck me good. I want her to have something good to offer. I want my mama to like her. I don't want her to be dressed too crazy. Yes. Don't go out with your friends. What you do? Nothing. Yeah. I'm a rapper like, trying to get on. Am I a prisoner? <laughs> what do you do? Nothing. I'm pushing my mixtape. Mm. Like, what? You already know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. It's but it's so true. Is this the <laughs> oh my God. That is this thing on. Is this thing fucking on? Because Honestly, the thing is, I hear a lot of men, especially I see a lot of men typing with their Twitter fingers, right? Oh, no. On Instagram and on Twitter saying stuff like, Man, these bitches want to stay home. They want to be a stay at home wife and shit. If I'm paying all the bills, she better be doing this, 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 and this, 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 this. Like, Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Let, be let's break it down from a stay at home from a stay at home mom that really don't even have that hard of a job staying at home because I also do have a nanny. Let's let's be clear. For moms who stay home who don't have any assistance throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout Baby. any fucking thing, that is a fucking first nigga, second, fuck third, and fourth job. job. Right. That is a whole you're job. You're responsible for not only still like having the stamina to take care of yourself where you can get up for work because this is work, you know. We love our kids and everything like that. But at the end of the day, we were a person prior to this actual yes, responsibility. Yes. So we got to be mentally well. Mm-hmm. We got to have enough stamina to chase these babies around. Mm-hmm. We got to feed these babies. We got to have enough um, intelligence to share and impart with these kids so that their day is just not lost on Coco Melon and fucking baby mom. Okay, okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, it's a job. We have to make sure the house is clean. The food is cooked. The groceries, li- the grocery list is done. Yeah. Okay, because that's a whole. If thing. you ever that's meet a man list. and go out to the store, you don't know really how to grocery shop. Okay. It's a really a list that never ends. And though. then never. mentally, we got to be free enough to want to be sexual. Yes. Yeah. And and a Damn. lot of men don't realize how mental sex is for women. Like yeah. how emotional sex is for women. When you get in the house and you kiss your kid, we we ain't got no kisses. We got slobbery ass booger kisses yeah. all day. Okay. And okay. while they mean more than your kisses, your kisses are something different. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Let's think about that. Let's think about the mental work that it goes into think- thinking, hmm, maybe I should move this chair because it's looking a little cluttered. Um, maybe I should uh, foresee buying different trash bags. Yeah. These trash bags don't work very well. Oh my God. Maybe I should foresee doing this the and doing that and doing this. Detail. Detail. And wearing the this. Essentials. The, essentials, the essentials. The essentials you are naming. Okay. Oh, my God. It's detail. And I think a lot of men don't realize that they do, even if you're a man who takes care of things, they, I don't think a lot of men pay attention to the details. It's easier to no. go make the money. It yeah. is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is. Absolutely. Because you might be the producer, but I'm the director. And who do you think has the hardest job? Mm. Mm. I'm going to say... The director tells everybody where they need to go, yep. what scene right. needs to happen. Yep. Who, we talk to the yep. casting director, what look is good for what, yep. who should be wearing what. Where's the where's wardrobe? Yeah. Where is this? Where is that? We do the leg work. Okay. And so mm-hmm. I hear a lot of men say, oh, if I'm spending this money... Your money cannot compare. I'm sorry. Okay. It can. Not never. It can. So do it gracefully. Do it knowing that you're yeah. benefiting your partner and your yeah. child and whoever else lives in your household. Do it gracefully knowing that you are offering something to your loved ones. Right. Don't do it feeling entitled. Yeah. Because if you're going to do it feeling entitled, then don't you're not gonna do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I think what men don't understand is like it's a level of com- the level of submission that they want also comes from a woman feeling safe. Oh, yes. Mentally mm. and emotionally yes. safe. Trusting yes. you yes. to lead. And I just want to be clear, like a lot of times these men be asking for the submission, but y'all be janky as leaders. Yeah. And it's hard The same to... people to say, I, I would never do that and then do it. Okay. And then ask you for forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I feel like, you know, men be wanting you to, like, they want you to be like, just listen when I tell you. Like, if I tell you something, that's what it is. Oh, I'm sorry. You can have me in seven to be doing situations. That? No, baby, I need to know where we're going, Mm-mm. what we're doing. What I'm not just the, oh, yeah, I'm a ride. No, I need I need to know everything. Because a lot of men are that's not what's even. That's going to reassure me. Yeah. I need right. to know that. Right. Like, you know what I mean? It's and not enough the... men in the world that actually have that shit with them that they can say, look. We going to the end of the world. Just pack a bathing suit. Don't pack shit else. Mm. Baby, and you what? feel reassured enough to say, fuck you. I'm okay. scared. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he, he said, don't bring a snack. Don't bring nothing. He said, fuck my wig. Yeah, yeah, just right. bring a bathing suit. What's home? wrong with giving? And, and I think that's the other thing. Like, men don't like to give detail. Like, they want you to just, I said, I said what, what I said. said. <laughs> How you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? How you know? 
just listen. You don't but, never want to listen to nobody. But it's like, because okay. the last time I listened to one of you motherfuckers, we ended up in a wrong time. But what what's the what's the teamwork in that? Right? Yeah. If you tell me something, what's wrong with giving me details? So it's like, okay, bet. So I can pack a first aid kit yeah. or a motherfucker. I don't <laughs> and know. I can be your backup. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I can be your Maybe backup. I should pack right. a, a tampon because you ain't tell me it was going to be there for two months. Exactly. You know, now I need yeah. more details. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Provisions. Where's yeah. the teamwork and not giving me details? I feel like the team, the details gives the teamwork because if you give me details then I can follow up to make sure we have everything we need. Mm-hmm. You're prepared. I'm prepared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not But let me tell you something. I'm not prepared. You're going to be hey, in the Hey sis, let me tell you something. Not prepared. An older lady said to me one time, that's why women carry a purse and men carry a wallet. Mm. Mm. We like to be prepared. For mm. anything and everything. We like to be aware of what's going on so that mm. we have whatever in our little sack we're going to yeah. need yeah. in case some shit come our way. Mm-hmm. Men yeah. just fly by the seat of their pants and they yeah, want you to be running around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not true. really out here looking yeah. crazy assed out because you can't tell me <laughs> right. that by the way we gonna be camping and it ain't no food. Okay. And, then they, and, and, and then they and then we go through these experiences and we handle it gracefully. It's cool day, no worries. It's cool day. Yeah. And then the next don't want like, to trample over their ego. And then we gotta be like, nah, because last, last time. time. And then and now, now we bring it up. Now, shit. now <laughs> you bringing up the old oh, yeah. shit. Why you bring up the old shit? Because you said you a janky ass leader. As a dictator, can you please let me know what the what the looks of the economy are? If okay. you just gonna tell and, me what the fuck to do. And, yeah. and, and really, I think what bothers me is I feel like men aren't open to like I feel like none of us really uh, we never really arrived. We're always on this journey of just yeah, becoming a bigger always. person, better person, always. all these things. I feel like men have a hard time just admitting like I'm not there yet because they want to be that yeah. man, want to be mm-hmm. this thing. But it's like, baby. You've been a janky ass leader, so you need to be honest with that, so you can get better at leading. Because it's, it's ego, like it's ego. That ego say lie, die with the lie, mm-hmm. die with the lie. Mm-hmm. Don't tell us that's what you want to hear. Don't tell her. Don't that's what she's going to emasculate yeah. you. And I feel like it's unfortunate, but men take the long way around. Do y'all remember when Raven? That's a Raven. She used to have a vision, and then yeah. in order mm-hmm. to stop it, she used to jump in and, and then, then make it come true. It all right? up. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's how men are in a lot of their waking days. Like that's what they do. They do shit like. I don't want this to happen, so I did this. And yeah. then it ends up happening Oh, my anyway. God. Yeah. So many men think like because that. Because you should have just did this. Like, honestly, they'll wait. And I ain't tell you that because I didn't want you to be thinking mm. this way about me. Yeah, but but like if you would have told me that we could have worked on this together and would look like a group project instead yeah. of you fucking up and me know, fixing exactly. it. I, remember, yeah. I never forget. I was in the car with my friend and her boyfriend. And he and he was just was like, yeah, I just be trying to think about what she be, you know, what she want or what she thinking, you know, so I could get it right. And I'm ask like, you're her. never going to know. I can't her. read my mind, yeah, can You're you never ask? going to know. Hey. So just ask. Yeah. But then like, when you why ask you me, man, why are you going? Just let me, I'm just thinking. Why are you asking me everything? Why are, <laughs> are you retarded? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, how the fuck I'm supposed to know if are I you ask your dumb ass? Right. right. Like, I'm not playing this dumb yeah. ass guess who game Guess who game. I'm supposed to guess what's on your what mind. No. This? No. Lex, don't no. come back over here refilling this cup. That's gonna I be can my fourth one. Your Listen, mind, baby. That's gonna be my fourth one, baby. Know <laughs> what you're thinking. I'm these things he down. thought he was what a bomb. Of, What's his name? What type of potion? <laughs> um <laughs> It's the ocean potion. This is good. This is hey, good. Ocean I'm drinking this like juice at this mm-hmm. point. This is lemonade. This is mango lemonade. Yeah, that's what it definitely is. is. It tastes okay. like definitely. It's so good. Um, <laughs> yeah, she keep on coming over. But yeah, I feel like yeah. I feel like with submission, it's just very weird. And I feel like yeah, even so when you want to play that role, like I remember one time we were talking on they the make episode, it hard. and you were like in the bedroom, you want to be submissive, you want to like head yeah. Yeah. too. I feel like even when you want to play that role, you got to get the right guy because yes. if he's a narcissist or like a just an overall fucking crazy man. Mm-hmm. He gonna try to take it too far. Yeah. Yeah. And he's gonna end up looking at him like, do we need to fucking fight? Because now, yeah. you know, it's not You're gonna doing be too much. Doing the organic most. and doing too beautiful. Much. It's gonna be, okay, you yeah. think I'm on my fucking slate. Now you trying right. to slut me out. Yeah, right. okay. Right. Right. I said right. I wanna be submissive, not a, like, what it, well, you know, it's funny in Fifty Shades of Grey, they do call it a submissive. Yeah, they call it a submissive. Yeah, but that's mm-hmm. why I think. But I'm you know why? Honest. Why I'm gonna be honest. I'm taking because submissive she trusted out my, him my, my, in her regular life. Yes, that's she the did. thing that's that they matters. miss. That's what yes. matters. In order to be truly submissive to someone, you have to trust them with your life. Yes. In order to say, okay, you can take me here, there, anywhere. You could tie yeah. me up and throw away the key, and I because trust I that trust you're going to come that you're unlock not me. Yes. Do nothing crazy. That is a certain level of trust. We are dealing with men who cheat, who lie, who don't, who say they're going to sleep and their phone was dead. <laughs> yeah. Who be doing all the rest of this other yeah. different shit. But they're and like, you I want, want my woman to be you? submissive. Oh my yeah. God. That's not the you same thing. You say people forget to pick up the fucking milk and eggs. We supposed to like, <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to let you lock nigga, me I up. Nigga, I sent you to the store for milk and eggs. You bought back bread and cheese. Them the niggas that want you to be submissive. 
I said uh, milk and eggs. You come back with bread and cheese. Nigga, I don't even trust you at the you grocery store. You can't remember to pull so out. And you want to lock me up? <laughs> <laughs> Like, so now you fact. wanna. That's a big fucking fact. It's oh, a red it flag. Too good. No, you got to get the nah, fuck up. Nah, get the me. fuck up. Nah, that's that's nice. I no. told your ass. Fuck no. I ain't yeah. want to have no kids, mm-hmm. man. <laughs> And here you are, I couldn't help it. It was just, mm-hmm. fuck you. It you have no leadership ability. It. No, and then it's, no, oh, I forgot no. to get the plan B. Now we looking and at each other. <laughs> you looking I'm at Mr. me, Crab. I'm looking at you, Mr. Crab meme. Now we, now okay. we, now we looking dumb. Because you can't. And then nine months later, you looking, you telling everybody, I only want that kid. She wild. Fuck you. Line. Fuck you. Your ass can pull out, nigga. One. Control, Control yourself. Control yourself. Speaking of, my motherfucking baby One. daddy. One, I told your ass. He done tight. Two, like, why you ain't telling the whole truth? No, for real. Like, the submissive part get a little bit fucking tricky with people. No, it is. You it gotta is. make sure it you is. find somebody who is like 100% like, trustworthy yes. and honestly I just want to be clear I'm not like bashing anybody but a lot yeah. of us we are in our maybe our physical primes mm-hmm. but in our emotional and mental primes we just not there yet yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and we can't it's act okay. like we should be even like a, like we shouldn't even act like we should be given that type of responsibility right. for someone else's life yeah, yeah. but I yeah. also feel like it's okay to admit that like what's wrong with just being honest about where you are like, their ego like, says abort mission <laughs> <laughs> the ego said, if you admit that abort, you ain't good abort, enough, abort, that means you ain't abort, good enough abort, at all. Abort, that means you a shitty ass <laughs> nigga. Don't say it. Don't uh-huh. say it. It's like the little, the little frog little in, the in the ear. Don't yeah, yeah, say yeah. it. Like, for example, so you like, you You got to explain know, yourself. Right. I feel like men don't get it. Like, it's like, sorry. There's a, there's, a, there's a very large disconnect. It's a very large disconnect because honestly, if I hear that word submissive one more time, I'm going to strangle a motherfucker. Because honestly... I, I'm actually taking it out of my vocabulary 100% because I just don't think it's the proper term. Now, I do think that a lot of times, like, they want this um, imbalance of, like, you do all of this, I'm going to just do this. Yeah. But you need to do all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, it's because in the back in the day, the 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 economy supported that. And it doesn't give that no more. And, and, and back in the day, women needed them. And so they, right. could, they could skate. It was a cakewalk for them. All they had to do was come home. When they wanted some sex, they wanted some sex. When they wanted the family on the other side of town, they could have one. Yep. Mm-hmm. When they wanted to do whatever they wanted to Always do, had the they options. could do it. And the wife just had to sit and fucking chill out yeah. because it was either that or poverty or yep. a terrible life. Yeah. 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 And now we don't have to do that and they're upset with us about yeah. it. Yeah, and because that's what I was going to say. I feel like when you don't fall in line, they're super upset. Yeah. Like, it's like, these hoes ain't oh, falling in line. Oh, she going to do it. She going to do it. Okay. Yeah. 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 My, my, my pimp juice ain't work. Go her. Because if I'm too much, go find less. Yeah. And guess what? And if she do listen to you, I can promise you, you you don't want to deal with that either. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But because yeah. they don't like that though. They actually, it's so weird. Like they want the same girl- thing. Make these niggas happy. Make these niggas okay, sad. Okay, period. okay, and that's that. Okay. Let's just that's be clear. They want a submissive girl, but they also want a girl that's going to be like, nigga, stop I playing just, with me. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They want a girl who's going to do whatever the hell they say, but at the same time, they want a girl that's going to be like, I'm not doing that. And mm-hmm. find another bitch. They want the yeah, spice. You want the feistiness. If you too nice to them, they're going to cheat on you with a bitch who don't answer their phone you call. Yep. That we, yep. Do you think there's anything that we ask of men that's equal to submission? Taking care of me. Being, I mean, being faithful I mean, and emotionally yeah. available. Yeah. That's Communicating for them. I, I feel, for yeah, them. for them. Yeah. I feel like, like that's, yeah. That's equal to and it's, and, it's ten, and it's 10 times easier for us to submit than it is for them to just do the right shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To just like, do the right thing. Because mm-hmm. like, like I said, like I, I, I definitely, submission I don't like, but I definitely crave my feminine energy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Feminine yeah. energy. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Like I want to be, be able like, to be yeah, soft. baby, I trust I like, you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And I don't want to feel like an idiot for doing yeah, it. Yeah, but I don't, yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. the key. That's yeah. what comes with it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to feel like an idiot for, idiot to do it. And like, you know, you mentioned like, I'm absolutely okay with letting a man be a yeah. man. I love it. But you I know, I'm about to get toxic because I had four choices. The problem is, I love is, it. You know, I think <laughs> women are okay with letting men be men, but a lot of these men got a lot of female type men. Oh, baby. He's a bitch. They got, <laughs> let me say it again. Listen, they got everything except the period. These men okay. got a lot of female They doing everything but bleeding. Days. I'm telling you. Mm. I'm telling like, you. Like, when it comes to just like the cattiness, like, Everything they expect us to do, I feel like I get it the same. Oh, like, and they t- and they gossip. The oh, real bad. They gossip like oh, real bad. No, because my man said often. your real friends bad. said all up in the and group chat. You at the such and such. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are your friends discussing me? <laughs> okay. Why? 
I would be the group of stuff. friends for me. That's what like, I'm saying. The group is the group of friends. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, I'd oh, be no. like, yo, is this? The and then it'd be the friends no. that be want to fuck your girl, telling you what they see I'm your girl doing. Tell you, the but they didn't tell you what they said on the slick side. Okay, okay, screw, screw. Like, like for real. And I feel like the men do be getting very feminine and be wanting very manly but treatment. It's, mm-hmm. But I think like, and, I, and it's giving right, Sherry Tampon. I, I, I feel like a lot of men ask for, from women. It's like, you stay a woman, I stay a man. But I need to be, I need to get some of what I'm asking you to be too because I need Cut you to be my me. man too. I and I'm like, like wait a minute. <laughs> I want to do this and that. But at the same time, you better do what the fuck I feel. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> What is it gonna be? Which Hold one on, you want to? Which ch- one? Well, yeah, pick a side. Say this. Now I will say, like, currently, like my husband, he really like. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I be asking, be a little softer. Like he's very <laughs> like, oh my god, mm-hmm. and I be like, let me cuddle you. Yeah, and like, <laughs> like it's very different yeah. in, on that end. But I have encountered a couple of men where I'm like. You want me rub on your like rub on your body, make you feel so sweet and secure, yes. and then you turn around and be a fucking demon. Uh, yes. Like, yes. what is Can that? Can I get the same energy? It's like, back, I ain't your please. mama, bro. Right. Okay. But it's like niggas will ask you, be loving, be loving, be loving, be loving, and then turn around and be the and most push your fucking buttons, mm-hmm. agitating, and dare you. Thing yes. to they be like, yes. Like, okay, so which one is it? Like, dog if you give me love, <laughs> I will reciprocate the love. Like, that's it's, all it is. You won't yes. have to ask it's for simple. it. It's simple. You won't need it. It's but so if simple. I'm gonna give you love and you gonna act, act like Satan spawn, like <laughs> I, 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 what do you want me to tell you what, you what it want? is for me? You want me to tell you what it is? You see that post where it be like. There's a woman out there that's gonna love, respect, and cherish you no matter what, and that bitch is your mother. Cause it's <laughs> yeah. that's what it's giving. It's yeah. giving like they they put their mamas through so much shit, and yeah. they mothers love them regardless. So they look at you. You supposed okay, to do the same they thing. They want to run up in your pussy, but they want mama treatment. Like whoa, 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 whoa. Right. Make up your mind. Yeah, Make up your mind. It's not sir. giving that. Mm-mm. It's giving we either fucking and reciprocating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or I'm beating your ass and telling you to bring your homework home from school. <laughs> Which okay. one is it gonna be? Do you want to go? Ain't gotta be both. Are you going in the corner or are you gonna be in this box? You need like, some lunch point. money. Which one is it? What's going are on? you going in the corner or are you going in this box? What is it? Pick <laughs> a poison. You don't get to choose both. But yeah, the definition when I was in the corner, changed. I couldn't get no pussy. Listen. Right. You feel Listen. So let me get you know, let me cut the men some slack. Okay. So, yeah, I, you know, you know, Here they go. We love y'all. That's a toxic. That's a toxic. Go have a yoni steam. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just I'm, told the men to go have a yoni steam. I'm really like fucking yo. toxic. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> They're like, what's that? A little That's bit. That's actually wild. Disrespectful. Look it up. Look it up. It's like I'm just look playing. It up, I'm just playing. It's just a joke. Don't send me the nah, hate y'all mail. Look that shit up. They gonna look it up. Cause some niggas gonna be like, I ain't even about to Google that shit. Lazy ass nigga. But um, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> don't refill uh, that cup no more. Yeah. Um, they taste like juice. <laughs> they taste this like, taste like a lemonade. No, it really it tastes does. really good. Demon juice. It's like a fucking <laughs> refresher. Demon juice. Oh my god! Look at the bottle. Fucking... Look at the bottle. Look! 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 Oh, wow. We crushed a bottle of nah. tequila. Are you fucking kidding me? That's that's anywho. That's too I'm, much. I know you lying. With you don't gotta play a cheerio. <laughs> <Don't be London. laughs> cheerio. For real. So wait, question. So cheerio means cheers in London. I think so. Okay, cool. Okay, because okay. I, I I didn't know. Like, Listen, we can make it mean whatever you want to mean. Yeah, what you with? I'm with whatever cheerio, you with. Cheerio, cheers, cheerio. <laughs> Mm. Cheerio. Mm. Cheerio. I feel like they're going to Sounds <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know what I'm mm. saying? Somebody going to be in the comments like, that's not what, <laughs> it, what it means. <laughs> right. Are you sure you went oh to London? Somebody going to be trying to right. play with me. No, no, they're going to be like, Shane, you ain't really go to Paris, bro. Shane, even go. <laughs> they just be lying. Mm. <laughs> they be playing with y'all in the comments? The oh, comments child, wow. yes. No, we get, oh, Lord. surprisingly, we get really good comments. Shout out to our supporters. Yeah, our supporters be holding us down. Our supporters be our supporters be holding us down. I gotta put my um, my I'm juicy dead. by Jay. Yes, yes. Shameless plug. We love Jay. Shout out yes. to Jay. Her. She Great. has been on the podcast. Yes, we love her. Vibe. We fucking love Juicy. Yes. Love Jay. Shout out Shout to Juicy. PG Jay. County Sweetie. You better respect yes. her. Okay. Yes. Um, I love it. Yes. I love it. her content, content queen. So yes, it is. <laughs> so, question: What's something that you had to change to move forward? In general, in your dating life or relationship, like relationship, I can't even say it straight because I don't even mean it. Like, um, <laughs> as women, you know, you know, I feel like the men always feel like they have this narrative that we always get all the blame. 
we always get all this shit. We always got to change so much. And obviously, we all are all not perfect. Right. So what is something that you absolutely had to change in order to move forward in your relationship or your dating life? I'm going to start this way because mm-hmm. Paris hate when I give her yeah. double back questions. So come on, <laughs> Paris. No, honestly. We got two Paris. Paris. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, this Paris. 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 You yours regular or what you are? Regular. Me too. Okay. Okay. It's just regular. Come on, regular. Um, for me, I feel like what I had to change was like, I don't know about y'all, but I didn't broken up people, get back with them, break up. Oh yeah. Okay. Definitely. Okay. That's so I think what now. I had to change, I had to realize is if you're gonna take that nigga back, sis, you can't keep bringing up what he did. Okay. Okay. Fair. Because then it's just Fair. for one, y'all tarnishing the relationship mm-hmm. that y'all are trying to build, rebuild. Yeah. So you got to stop bringing it up. And yeah. it's hard. It, it is. is. It Especially is. when you it get in your hard. feelings. You be like, what the fuck? Like, right. If you ain't do that, then I want to feel like this. Mm-hmm. And I want to have to feel. But I feel like in order to move on and to, you know, do what y'all got to do, you got to like kind of yeah. not, you know. And what is another thing? I think another thing for me would be like what I had to do recently was realize mm. I need to stop going back. Mm. Like I need to move the fuck on. Uh-huh. Yeah. I need to break these cycles of. You no, know, that's like, real, you, that's real. and it's, you know, not to say that everybody I've dealt with is bad. Cause yeah, I, yeah, I would, yeah, you had your way. Everybody yeah. has their ways. But, but with just growth like, comes new stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, when you, those are my two things. Like, I just feel like I had to learn that. Like, yeah. that's a, that's stop holding thing. on to things that's the, not really, right. it's that's not benefiting real. you. It's yeah. not. Yeah. Absolutely. Here I you are, you love like him. A I think women really carry because we just been perceived to always take so much and they keep taking it. So we end up just, Taking a while yeah. to really like, we rem- really do take a lot. Oh my god, mm-hmm. yes we do. Verbally, yeah, just, just emotionally, yeah, mentally, yeah, yeah. mentally yeah. and a lot of times it's physically too. It take forever. You know, physically. one of my friends told me one time I never forget in my past. She was like, "Stop holding these niggas for three years plus, niggas. Give these niggas five months max and dip." Okay, and I be like, "Yeah." Damn, <laughs> I'll be there Damn. too fucking yeah. long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's like just, that. yeah, I gotta, I just recently realized that, like, all right, yeah. you could do this. Mm-hmm. Right. It was hard at first, mm-hmm. like, right. but yeah, right. I'm doing it. And right. it's, yeah. So, so no, okay. no, no, no back and forth. When I'm done, I'm done. I ain't gonna say yeah. I'm done, done. Wow, that's great. But hey, but, you know, I'm mean, 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 you, honest. You had, yeah, you put it out there. Yeah, like, yeah, but for now. The more you put it out there, the more you get better. Like, yeah, it's kind of like AA me and fuck, we in AA. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, I think it's kind of similar to what Paris was saying. Like, what I had to learn was not holding one man accountable for what the last man did. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. even when you move on, if you still like jilted or mad or jaded by what the last person did, It'll you're not really going to give anybody a clean slate. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, I've realized that you can give somebody a clean slate and they can still piss you the fuck off in the same way that the last man pissed you off. But for mm-hmm. you, yeah. yeah, you have to give yourself an opportunity to feel <laughs> yeah. that freedom. Because if you're mm-hmm. constantly feeling like, uh, uh, right, off, right, mm-hmm. right, 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 right. You're never going to be able to feel like you can just breathe easy. Yeah. So I feel like for me, in order to really like, let love find me in order for me to enjoy my situations yeah. without thinking about what could or what would happen yeah. or what did happen. Mm-hmm. I just like, that was the last nigga. You didn't nigga. Let's see what you could do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I feel like I had to learn that. Mm-hmm. In any other perspective, I feel like I'm pretty open. Like, I feel like I'm pretty fucking good <laughs> at letting people be who they want to be. I feel like one thing I will say is that I really need to work on letting people have whatever time that they need and not always thinking that it has something to do oh, with something wow, that yeah. I'm doing or not mm, doing. Me too. Yeah. You know, when they get too quiet, you're like, what was wrong? Why you think, what was, uh, right, right. Uh, the whole time yeah. people just dealing with themselves. And I was actually cussed out the other day about, you know what the problem is in this house? Don't nobody <laughs> let me think about shit. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, are you? It's me, it's me. I'm not too bad. It's me, it's me. I can ask you what's wrong. It's me. I'm really being annoying. Why? No. I feel like that's what I had to learn. Like, everything's not about you. Mm. If you really focus on what it is that you do well, you do everything with good intentions and you put your best foot forward, you won't be so worried about what somebody else might be thinking or might be feeling about something that you did or didn't do. Yeah. So I feel like that's another thing. But I feel like beside those things, I'm like, I'm pretty good in the relationship department. Yeah, mm-hmm. come on. Yeah. Are you perfect? Because you is. Oh, <laughs> you're happy. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to piggyback off of everybody because I would definitely say, like Paris said, it, it definitely depends. <sighs> like holding grudges is mm. a big thing for me. 
Um, me and my man have been in a relationship on and off for eight, nine years now. Yeah. Um, and we've definitely had our trials. Tribulations, tribulations all, all all that. That. Mm-hmm. Um, I was there. <laughs> yeah, I you was there. there. You was there. Mm-hmm. Um, but it takes a lot. Uh, I don't think we, I don't think we changed necessarily. Okay. I think we just grew into each other okay. more. Um, and probably learned. To I love that. Yeah, we, yeah, we, uh, we learned we to learned accept, to accept certain flaws of each other, and yeah. we've learned to kind of just grow with them. Yeah. Um. <sighs> But I will say for myself, I, I had to stop holding things against him. Um, everybody's growing every day yeah, yeah. and changing and whatnot. And I definitely had to let some stuff go. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But what I will mm-hmm. say, though, is that a lot of trust goes into that as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have to trust the intentions of yeah. the person you with and want Absolutely. to be able to say, you know what? I don't I'm not going to yeah. take this personally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is just something that, that you're dealing with. Yeah. Or yeah. you're working through. And, and, and that's kind of where I would piggyback off of for me, too. But I think that. Um, as I grow into my big age now, and big I feel age. like it, big yeah. Age. Mm-hmm. yeah, big sexy, okay. big sexy. But, um, I um, I've realized the importance even to myself of just like growing as an individual, right? Mm-hmm. And something like you said, like I was like, "What's wrong? What's going on?" And not realizing that people deal with their own things, yeah, like it's not always about taking their own things heads. personal, yeah. accepting them for who they are. It's, mm-hmm. it's it's kind of piggyback of all of it because I think like in my younger years, like I was always trying to make sure the relationship was good. Yeah. So I'm always like, is everything okay? Yeah. Like, what do we need to do? What do yeah. we need to work on now? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. da 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 And it gave it's a certain no breathing anxiety. room. Yeah. yeah. For things to just develop and do what they need to do naturally. So as I get older and I realize like, yo, I really just enjoy to be able to think to myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? My daughter's about to be 12. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I I like I really enjoy like my solitude and just being able to think. And it's never personal to nobody, you yeah. know. And um I feel like sometimes, like, you know, I've been in a situation recently where I've been having to explain it's not personal. Like I'm yeah, really just yeah. growing as an individual. Exactly. And, you know, I have so many things I'm working on individually that people probably don't even know about, think about that I'm tweaking of myself. Yeah. That nobody has any idea of, mm-hmm. but that's what I'm doing. So sometimes I just need a little space, but it's yeah. not personal. And I um, I think that I didn't allow that in the past for other people, mm-hmm. though. Like, you know, I never was like, I always had to be like, sitting right here like, what we doing? Mm-hmm. Right. What we going? What you doing? Yeah. What yeah. Mm-hmm. What's on me? your mind? Why you going over like that? Yeah. Why you doing that? Right. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. I did something wrong. You yeah. mad at me? Yeah. Like, yeah. And it's like, you know, I don't know. I can't really pinpoint exactly where that came from, but I also think it's all a part of childhood trauma. Just yeah. like being the anxiety to, of yeah, being like, in control. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. having to tr- control everything. So now I'm at a space where I'm just letting like, things go how they go. Like, you know, letting things be who they are. Yeah. Or yeah. having mm-hmm. patience for them to plan out the way they need to plan. And I, I do that with a lot of being relaxed. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I really me, don't want I no like, strenuous anything. I did my best today. You know yeah. yeah. Like, real shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it is what it is. I did my fucking best today. And if I did my best <laughs> and I was I nothing, I still yeah. was my best. So, yeah. yeah. And, um, and I think that's something that I learned just over the years and just giving that grace to somebody else as well. Like, so like, you know, I think sometimes now it kind of like alarms Jay because I'm just like, ah, oh, you know, take your time. Take your space, baby. Right. Come on, space. Um, <laughs> you know, in the beginning, like, you know, I wasn't exactly always like that. It's like, what's wrong? What you got on? Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. And, but, like, something I learned, like, I actually enjoy my own fucking solitude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want, like, but I think it took me so long to get, actually get in that space to be, like, <clears throat> really love on myself and yeah. be comfortable right. with yeah. myself. Right. I really fuck with myself. So I want to drive by myself. Mm-hmm. I want to right. take a ride. Mm-hmm. I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. I just want to take a ride and look at the sunset by my goddamn self. Yeah. Like, right. yeah. You know, and I think it alarms people sometimes because it's like, why you want to spend so much time with yourself? You got to be doing something. But, like, right. nah, like, I really just fuck with me. Yeah. But it took me a long enough time to get there. Yeah. So I'm sorry that I didn't give that to you. And you said something about time. femininity. And I think um, yeah. once you get to a space where you like, look, baby. I'm everything a motherfucker. Motherfucker. Okay. You if you get a broad up. idea why you being quiet over there in okay. the corner by yourself, then you should go somewhere else. And that's your motherfucking demise. Yeah, I don't okay. got nothing to do with me. Nothing. Yeah. Everything's good over here. You yeah. better make the right decision. And that's I'm about to keep asking you what the hell wrong with yeah. you. Yeah. Exactly. 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 If it is, exactly. then that's your problem. But his, when you're ready, you come to me. Okay. But if I can't do what? shit, then I'm going to shut the fuck up. I really up. do think that if two people who think like that about themselves together, oh, it's a it would be so much yeah. more relationship. I think like, I having agree. two secure people who really fuck with themselves mm-hmm, and really mm-hmm. see the bigger picture uh, it is nothing's personal mm-hmm. it's like you know I want to be with you but mm-hmm. I'm also working on myself yeah, and they, like yeah, I exactly. think it could be a really I think sometimes like 
you know, as we're growing, everybody's kind of growing at a different speed. Exactly. Yeah. And like sometimes we're not always on that same page. And it mm-hmm. looks like different things to other people. Like, mm-hmm. what are you doing? Why are you? But it's like, no, I'm just growing differently right now. When you can feel at peace with a partner in silence, I feel like that's the ultimate oh place. That. That oh my God. Very, it's very, 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 so very, very, relaxing. Very, very, very. You don't want to have to, I feel like I'm at the point now, like, yeah, I used to be a lot more like, oh, blah, 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 blah. now with, with my man, I'm just kind of like, mm-hmm. What you doing? Mm-hmm. And we be and we be quiet for hours, just sending each other shit on but Instagram. But that's how it's you be with your best friend, though. Yeah, though. Like, exactly. And I feel like that's chilling. the best way yeah. to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like there's always the deeper you get into relationships, yeah. the more trust you develop, yeah. the more um, closeness you. Yeah, yes. yep. absolutely. It gets better, but I feel like definitely letting go of those little anxious, yeah. I'm scared yeah. what you're gonna do, sort yeah. of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Once you're once you're comfortable in self, <laughs> a lot of things start to change for you. Yeah, it really, absolutely. It absolutely. And that's kind of. Something that I've been seeing just like in my friendships and just like people and myself, it's just like the more we tap into ourselves, like mm-hmm. life just looks so different. So like I think like um I think that um detachment is a healthy thing. Yes. Yes. But I yes. think people are so used to feeling like love is heavy on attachment that they get scared if you feel like you're too detached. Like like I'm so secure in myself, like if we don't work out. We don't work out, or if we good, we good. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying. But either way, like I know what's for me is yeah. for me. Yeah. I think it scares people because it's like, what you mean you're not on my dick and you're yeah. not strapped around me? You're not, you know, <laughs> you not need to know where I'm going, going, not going. Mm-hmm. It's because like I'm really just securing myself. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying. But I think if it was a level of that though, even in friendships, yeah, like you know what I'm saying, because I feel like it happens in friendships too. Like I've experienced like feeling this way. My friends not. Come sometimes feeling that way, and it comes off like, why are you in, you know, I called you. It's like, no, I was just, you know I was just, 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 I Whole time you by yourself, they think you damn you ain't invite me. Yeah, and it's like baby, no, uh-huh. like, I, I just with me myself yeah. for mm-hmm. a second. Mm-hmm. It ain't mm-hmm. nothing personal, and I just think that's just the hardship that as you grow you get. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. I was definitely just about to say older. that. Like when you get older, it. The more it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. It makes hella sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. you start to think, like, for sure. Yeah. It's, it's better mm-hmm. if I chill out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you some, sometimes you look at invites and you're like, mm-hmm. it's Sunday. I'd rather just watch <laughs> out there. I'm a binge watch. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. What do y'all feel like y'all are potentially missing from, like, whether it's relationship or dating? Like, what is something like you crave that you're, you may not be directly getting right now not because it's like anything personal just sometimes like for example you ever had friendships or relationships that they're just not that type of person but you know they're working on it or like you're trying to get that out or you've accepted not having that because you're dealing with people who just don't have that capability is it something that you're missing that you really would like like Mm -hmm. whether it's a form of intimacy or it's Mm -hmm. like people who check up on you more (laughs) or (laughs) people who check up on you more like what is something you feel like Damn, I wish I had a little more of mm-hmm. babysitters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like during our early stages of our relationship, we got a chance to go out. We got a chance to enjoy mm. each other, um, you know, a lot more often than we do now. We have a two year old. So, you know, and um, my boyfriend's mom is about to leave. So there's nobody to hold on to our little one. Mm-hmm. And so we don't get to. Have those Date. moments. Yeah, we don't yeah. get to really date and we don't get to have fun and go to, you know, uh, day parties out with just the two of us. We'll have to go separately because one of us is going to stay in the house. Right, so, I, right. I mean, me personally, I would love to spend that time, get more intimate and whatnot. I mean, yeah. you know, it's a work in progress, yeah. obviously, as our ch- all of our children get older, right. you know, it becomes right, right. more it easier. easier. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I would definitely love the chance yeah. to do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, something that I'm missing that I might just not be getting right because I feel like you know like a lot of times like I don't know like I feel like sometimes like I suppress certain things mm. that I really desire because mm-hmm. of the people around me you know it's what? like yeah. it's like it's okay it's like okay my friends don't give me this or my partner doesn't give me this but it's okay because I accept them for yeah. a R. but mm-hmm. deep down like I sometimes like I'll crave something that's like Damn, like I really You wish. know what I think it is? You know what I'm saying? And this is probably going to sound very funny coming from me. But I think it's making love to slow jams. 
Okay. Uh, yes, yes. I know that probably so, sounds odd. No, it actually sounds mm-hmm. like you. Though. I know it's very nice. nice. I'm like, yeah. don't, don't get it fucked yeah. up. I'm getting hit. Of course. <laughs> don't think I'm <laughs> getting hit. No, nah, it's getting done. The job's right. getting done, period. Yeah. I'm don't getting, think y'all got no opportunity picky. out here. I'm, <laughs> I'm okay. getting hit. Okay, because you just went where? I went where? To Spain. Okay. okay and where? And, and, and London. Okay. Yeah. And I got hit. Okay. Yeah. It's like, no, I'm just like, no. <laughs> but seriously, like, yeah. I think it's just that overall, like, you know how you have that um, perfect love making scene in your mm-hmm. head, whatever that looks like for you. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's just, I know my husband is like, such a businessman. Yeah. So a lot of time he like super stressed. He always think about the next thing, Virgo shit. Always yeah. Yeah. deeply intent on thinking about the next thing and the next thing and the next thing to provide or to get to the next goal or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But he's not very, I don't know. He's not very moment. like, like lovey dovey inclined. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's just like, yeah, I love you, but you know that though. But you like, know that yeah. though. It's giving that. And I feel like, one day I'm gonna have to like really like pull so up hard and be yeah. like, we're playing this. Would you? Would you come? And we you're gonna wear this. Yes, yes. I'm gonna wear this. <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> fuck in this bed. No, no, I'm just playing. But seriously, yeah. I'm like, that's the I only mean, thing. Right, right, you know? right. Yeah. That's a nice fantasy. Yeah, that's yeah. A very, I love very, fantasy. I, love it. I feel like that's I love it, it because even the music that I listen to, he don't listen to. Yeah. yeah. One, like, he like all trap music. If I yeah. told him, turn on some motherfucking... Devin, can you just say the line? I swear, they... Vizo, then he gonna be like... Can you just give me the line that they did in Spain one more time? What's the song? Because <laughs> all I need... Oh, yeah! <laughs> is your love... Oh, Lord, please don't be making love to that. No, yeah. I'm making love <laughs> But no, seriously, like, I feel like he listens to trap music. If I, turn him, if I told him to turn on some motherfucking Lil Baby yeah. or, you know, some shit like yeah. that. Yeah, undergo control. I mean, we... we to that all night. Yeah. I mean, it wouldn't be a problem, but his first inclination is not to turn yeah. on motherfucking <laughs> Maxwell. No yeah. Maxwell, yeah. no I Usher. Yeah. I ain't never heard my nigga listen to Usher day in his life. <laughs> if I said turn on Usher nice and slow, he gonna be like, what? Like, yeah. that's not what he, like, that's not yeah. innate to him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's not like it would be a problem. It's not it's a just deal breaker. It's not his first right, but it's yeah. something yeah. to yeah. 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 But it would be nice, you know what yeah. I mean? If for us to be able happens. to share that together because yeah. With him specifically, because he doesn't <laughs> listen to that type of shit. So I want him to experience what that love makes. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he might get that joint like, whoa. 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 <laughs> you might make baby no so one part. Listen, you know we probably look. We probably might. And that's the yeah. thing. Like mm-hmm. you know, just introducing that different thing for him yeah. and me doing something that's super familiar for me. Right. That would be a nice experience. Right. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's just it's just that the experience yeah. though. Mm-hmm. But it's not nothing too crazy. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. 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 Makes like sense. It. What about you? I like Paris? that. I what think for me, I just miss having like a homie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I, I'm big on like being friends too. Yeah. yeah, you got to be friends too. Yeah, yeah. So if anything will last. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I miss that. that yeah. That's the only thing. Yeah. But I'm single. You guys are just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are my friend, <laughs> homie. Okay, mm-hmm. little partner, just to parlay with. Okay. okay. Period. <laughs> what am I missing? Honestly, I asked that question. I ain't had my answer. I ain't gonna hold you. Um. <laughs> I um. But I think it's similar to what Diamond says. Like, I actually really am like a like. I'm not. I've never been a hopeless romantic, but I like. I'm super like Ooh, because I never really happen? experienced a lot of romance. Is what I will say because mm. I do typically go for men that are super dominant, yeah. workaholic, and sometimes and they're does, not sometimes, very romantic. Yeah, they're not yeah. really romantic, mm-hmm. and it's not nothing wrong. It's just it's just not in their nature to do. So um, I do miss like a certain romanticized mm-hmm. situation. So that is actually something I would also like. Like, damn, yeah. Like, just oh yeah. yeah it'd be nice or, to walk in a moment it's giving turn out the light okay, okay. Well, you know i mean i don't really want to fuck <laughs> boom, the light. Like, I, I would definitely want to do some uh you and mommy okay all right i like you know what i'm saying i you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's, that's the vibe. Like, and then you look but, back like, yeah, oh, you talking yeah, to me. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, like, 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 yeah. Fucking Jeep. Right. Um, <laughs> period. But, like, I definitely think, like, stuff like that or just, like, you know, I don't know, like, sexy moments, just, like, even, like, that over, like, dinner, like, those songs. Like, candlelit dinner. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Um, 
But like I said, like it's nothing like that's like deal breaker. Yeah. But it's, it's just, just something these nice like, little something things. Something that I think about nice sometimes. Little things you think and about. you ever be like, uh, I don't know, scrolling one day and you see like, oh, yeah, what is little that? vacation. Right. Yeah, right. That's right. So What's cute. that page? You'd be like, but uh, it's not me and like a big son. deal. But like I definitely am more rom. I, I definitely like more romantic moments than I have that I actually talk about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So maybe I should make that clear. I don't really say that either. So That's another fault. thing that I will say. Yeah. A lot of us aren't getting what it is that we want because we ain't saying we, we don't want ask, it. Right? Mm. And we ain't saying that we want it because we're scared of the disappointment. Yeah, we don't want to be negative. One thing that I will say is that if you say that you want it and you still don't get it, at least you try. Right. Yeah. If yeah. you don't right. say that you want it and then you still don't get it, you can't be That's mad. That's all. That's all. That's all. Close mouths not get fed. Close mouths not get fed. Close mouths not get fucking fed. Facts. Facts. Yes, I think so. we all like romantic shit though. Yeah, I think that's one. I think that yeah, I think yeah. that's. And women it can also general. be hood romantic. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. love a listen. First of all, I love a hood bro. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm look, look, all the I, shit. Look, I can get hit to up the skull too. But if yeah. you want to yeah. really make it really like fancy, yeah. then turn on she some nineties. Really look, we can look. Like, we could clap it up clap, to some go go too. Right, right, right. We can do that too. Like, what did you Get talk up. about? But I'm just saying, if you want to be nice and like regular, picturesque yeah. type of day, I mean, shit, turn on a little pretty yeah. wiki. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, so, that's ooh, a pretty, pretty wiki. wiki. Okay. It's pretty pussy. Pussy. <laughs> Look, I got all the tools in the house. Maybe I thought DJ. about it a little more than I thought. Listen, we, we <laughs> acting up. Exactly. 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 Think about it. Exactly. Exactly. Y'all made me realize I'm missing right. something too. I'm like, Listen, damn. I'm missing that too. <laughs> but you know what? Like, I think that's uh, a thing that females have to get better at. Like, you know, sometimes when your nigga ain't on it, you just got initiated. Yeah. Maybe if you initiated, initiated the first time, maybe it'll take you the second time. Like, you know, I think I'm pretty, like, I do really good dates too when it's my turn to do mm-hmm. like date night. I'm really mm-hmm. good at that. But maybe I should introduce like what I really want. Like, yeah. okay, right, I like right. Romance, it's okay, yeah. baby, you come in, you drop your jaws, I'm gonna turn on this slow jam. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And let me see what like, you finna do. I feel like, yeah. honestly, mm-hmm. sometimes lately, especially when it comes to that sort of thing, I'm more turned on when I'm taking charge. Yeah. But I yeah. feel like a lot of the time I don't take charge because I'd be too tired from the first mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So sometimes you just be like, mm, I really yeah. should be the person. But I, I want to do it. I, 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 yeah. I heavily agree with that. Like, you know, I just feel like I have a lot on my plate. Like, so sometimes I just be like, I just, just you take charge of me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You okay. tell me what to do. You tell me. Yeah. Uh, sit there. So right. Now, now we being submissive. Yeah. Now we being mm-hmm. submissive. That's not fucking submissive. Yeah. First of all, I don't, I don't like your like, words. In the, no, in the no. bedroom, no. though, it's not a servant. I'm cool with. I'm, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Okay. So I mean, she don't like serving it in a bedroom. You got served. I said that though in the bedroom. I think I really mean it though. Like I don't know. I think okay. Since we're talking about like these romantic type <laughs> things, I think I <laughs> <laughs> number five <laughs> in corner nine. <laughs> Rainy champ do, mango lemonade. <laughs> yeah, Period. definitely margarita. Definitely. I think I low key do like to like you know like even like Fifty Shades Grey. Cause like it's yeah. submissive. Like time me up. Right? Yeah. Right. Like, Cause that's fun, especially when you're just a decision maker during the day. What what they say? What they call it? Uh, like pig tie me. Yeah, hog tie. Hog tie. Yeah, I don't know how to hog tie me. Oh yeah, the tequila hitting good. Now we talking about hog ties. Not me. Tie me up, flip me round. I think that's literally the only time like I will be. Fucking complete. You want authority? Boom. Servant? Boom. boom. There you go. Boom. That's the only time. Though. That's the only exactly. time. Exactly. We in the bed. But giving out the authority. But outside servant. of this, when this door open, don't be coming at me crazy. Cause yeah. yeah. After that, it's I'm a grown gay. woman. I need, yeah. I, need, I, need, I, need, I need to be told tonight. Nice. Right. Nice. Right. Y'all, what do y'all feel about this the baby situation though? I just think he should have just shut up and yeah. his food. It's not really like just be quiet. Go shopping. Yeah. Right. Like celebrities, it was, just, just wasn't necessary. To it say. wasn't. At I all. think. I think. I think the baby is just one of those young boys. I, I don't know how young he is or yeah. how old he yeah. is, but he has a demeanor to me where he just he just coming to, to kick up dust a little. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, come yeah. on, man. He, didn't During he get dang late pregnant? And she was talking about light skin versus it's... dark skin shit. Like, yeah. he don't give a fuck. He just coming to kick some dust up. He had one <laughs> girl on a damn PJ with him. Daddy lay somewhere else talking yeah. about I don't care what's going on. Like yeah. he liked the next. Wait, so yeah. I'm about, I did, y'all, so did y'all see her when she posted the picture and she put the biggest? <laughs> hey, no, she didn't. No, she. I didn't see that. That's I, sad. I was laughing for five minutes. That's sad. Because not the biggest. Because right. did he ever even claim that baby? I don't think so. And I also He's had a thought. Not. He hasn't yet. Oh, oh he, he commented, commented on the pic. What he say? What he say? What he say? 
And that's how you know what kind of man we're dealing with. We're dealing with a guy who liked the controversy of it all. Yeah. He said that shit at, you know, Rolling Loud because he wanted the attention of it all. Yeah. And he thought that he was going to have more of a, um, he thought he was going to have more people riding with him than the the kickback. But here's the gag, though. It's known better, though. Right. Here's the gag, though. It actually has been pretty 50% because some people are kind of saying, like, well, kind of like how is gay pride? Why can't people have straight pride? Like, so for example, so when I was having this conversation, just for perspective's sake, like I definitely think, like I agree, like shut the fuck up. Like Chris Brown said, say yo, thank you, and get the fuck off stage. Yeah, I absolutely agree. However, I think a lot of these artists want to be like um, personalities too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like it's like they're not just they don't want to just be the rapper anymore. Now they mm-hmm. want to be the MC. You know? Yeah, and, it's like, yeah. and I'm the like, activist. you didn't even have to do that because mm-hmm. that's not even your job. Yeah, your DJ is supposed to hype the crowd. You like had you one job. Be out there, do, like, you have not, one fucking job, yes. right? Right. In retrospect, I completely agree with that. But something that dawned on me because I do think the world is very sensitive now and. Uh, when I replayed it's how yeah, yeah, I agree. when sensitive. I replayed how he said it, I definitely was like, "What was the point to say yeah. that?" But I also said things like, "Okay, but there's times that, like, as a culture, we say things all the time that kind of can come off." But like, who are we speaking to? So, like, when I was talking about it, um, one analogy I made, like, for example, like, you know, I'm a mom. I'm like, say I'm hosting a party. I'm like, if you take care of your kids, whatever. Put your motherfucking hands up, but a bitch may not lost custody of her kids. Now right. she's like, you yeah, not talking yeah, about right, me. Yeah, right. Don't got their kids. Like, yeah. you're right. for that. It's like, but I'm not talking to you. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm just talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think it comes with the level of sensitivity that sometimes it's like, okay, I understand what people are saying, but at the same time, like, like, okay, you ever been in a club and like, if you got clean pussy, put your hands up. Yeah. Bitch, I'm putting my motherfucking hands right. up. Yeah. Now, bitch offended, like, I just well, had a CD. Well, I have beef. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> and that's your business. Well, I'm sorry. Like, that's your business. Like, what is like, it? Nobody that's your business. Like, nobody like, nobody not celebrate that I got a clean pussy. Yeah. Like, that's not my, like, what did you want me to do? No, I'm sorry that you wasn't clean. I thought you were taking shit personal. You take it up. I'm sorry that Bitch, you were clean just at put the your time hand up. that I said the, the comment. It's, it's all right. It's unfortunate, <laughs> but this world want to be all inclusive so bad. Right. And it don't yeah. give yeah. We're not the same yeah. people, same It's situations. not all inclusive. And honestly, what I will say is that anybody who fucking know me know I love the LGBT community. Like, I do too. Y'all, y'all are I my love babies. Them. Y'all are my too. dogs. That's so like, we, we roll tough. Me love them. But I will be honest and say, and, and shit, like, if y'all want to fucking spam me, that's fine. If y'all want to go off with me, that's, <laughs> that's fine. fine. I'm going to keep it a buck. Yeah. Y'all can't be mad at people for not agreeing with every fucking thing that y'all with. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. every, everybody not with everything that everybody with. That's yeah. why we are so beautifully and individually made. Right. Yeah. Yeah. If, you know, you we get to a point where people say, oh, nah, I don't want to date a bisexual man because that's just not my type. Or yeah. we get to a point where somebody says, oh, I don't want to date a, a woman who used to be a male. Yeah. And y'all start saying, you're homophobic. What if they're not scared? Right. And they just yeah. don't they just prefer don't that. that. Yeah. You can't be upset with people for that because we can accept everyone. Right. But that doesn't mean we have to agree. Yeah. And that yes. and homophobic... Phobic period means fear of. Yeah. And if you are accustomed to, if you are willing to, if you are open to, yeah. you can't still be scared of. Yeah. yeah. It just means that we don't always agree on everything. Yeah. And yeah, the baby was very fucking tasteless in how right. he it did was. what he did. Because yeah. yeah. did you really like, that's 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 all things you bothers me. me. Yeah. Like, it was just tasteless. You can't say, put your hands in the air and wave them like, you just don't care. That's what I'm about to say. Right, right, right. All right. You couldn't even say jump. Jump like right. 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 What I will say is that there comes a point where you have to assert yourself in being open to all things, not just right, your cause. Right, yeah. right. You know, a lot of people that, you know, are of the LGBT community, they have been oppressed for so long. They feel like in order to feel like they are being accepted, everybody yeah. has to agree. Yeah. And I don't personally agree with that. Like, I feel like, yeah, you know, no, you know, gay sex scenes shouldn't be cut out of TV, but I don't need my kid watching it either. Exactly. Just like I don't need exactly. my kid watching straight sex scenes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I feel it's the so same way about yeah. it all. But you know, a lot of the kickback is given, oh, if you don't agree with everything one group is saying, yeah. then that means you don't fuck with that group. And that's not true at right. all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's a lot of times mm-hmm. that's not, not true case. at all. Yeah. But I do think, like you said, like, I do think, like, especially as an artist as big as the baby, I think that he wore a diaper. <laughs> outside on TV. No, he didn't. 
Oh yeah, he did. He did. He did. A you fucking diaper. Yeah. Look, like he said my name's a baby. I'm a baby. I, he's clearly a baby. <laughs> but I, I, I just feel like <laughs> I, I do think like for example, as we all climb the ladder and we get to where we want to go, I think it does come with a certain level of responsibility. <laughs> Diving a baby. Wake him up. <laughs> when you say he's clearly a baby, I'm like, I bust out. Like, oh, this bitch is drinking. I, I just feel like we, you know, we all have a responsibility to not cater to the audiences we're talking to, but almost like that's our audience. Those are our supporters. So we can't really go so but so far with the yeah. things we say. Yeah. But it do it, you definitely want to keep your authenticity yeah. out of the way. And I think I think what the baby was trying to say is that, you know, he's ignorant by default. Like yeah. that's how he came out. Yeah. That's who he's been. So yeah. he's been consistent with being ignorant. And that's yeah, he that has been consistent. Did he and like sucker yeah. punch a girl or something? Like he's like, consistently a ignorant. fan or some shit. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. you know, and like, you know, he got his baby mama the biggest out here. It's just all a clown <laughs> show. Like, and I feel like, you know, it's not something that we surprised about, right. like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. It's just that, again, I feel like we are in times where the world is very sensitive. And like you said, the LGBT community has been oppressed for so long. Now they're like, da, da, da. It's like, but I think we want all that shit. And I feel, I feel yeah. it. Yeah. I really do. Like yeah. as an ally, I feel that shit. But yeah. one thing that I will say is that we can't, with any cause yeah. Yeah. that we have, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I could personally like green eggs and ham. I can't get mad at you if you don't eat fucking pork or green yeah, eggs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just some shit where you got to be like, you might not agree, right. but as long as you agree that I'm still a human, I should yeah, be it's yeah. treated with respect fair. Yeah. and I should yeah. be treated with care and still be considered for the same opportunities yeah. that you should, yeah. Yeah. then we fine. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yep. No, I love that. Yeah. I love that. But I'm, I ain't gonna lie. Like if I'm at a party and that shit jumping, I'm like, if you ain't got HIV, put your hands up. I'm like, ah! yeah, <laughs> I don't. exactly. Because yeah. listen, I don't. Shit is don't shifty out that. here. And I don't. Tricky. And listen, you know what? A, and all the times I could, thank God. You feel me? It's saying? an accomplishment God. making it out alive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not just on me on a nigga. I'm just dealing with record, just all of it. Like, HIV is not a gay disease. HIV is a human disease. Did okay. He say, hold on. And as long as you're having sex. Did he you can't say catch that it. though? Because what he said, I didn't what hear he him said say was, that. if you he I said something people, to the degree of if you ain't got HIV, raise your hands. Yeah. Right. I ain't, um, if you ain't, I, if you, you ain't, ain't sucking no dick, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. in my head, when I heard it, I don't think he correlated the two. No, but I, I think, think the way that he say, said it was misleading yeah, for people who. Yeah. Okay. And that's and that's fair. When I heard it, I listened to a couple times. I was like, let me hear what they. Like I did think it was tasteless. I'm like, boy, out of all the things you could fucking say, raise your hands. Yeah. Like nigga, you could have. Said so many Anything. other fucking things. So it was just the most obvious. He said, the oh, girl, the pussy smell like water. I don't know what bitch pussy you smell that smell like water, but she might be defective. Okay. <laughs> because that's not how vagina smell. smell like. Because coochie okay. smell like coochie. <laughs> coochie it might smell coochie like a smell. higher quality coochie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a higher quality coochie. Listen. <laughs> but it's coochie we nonetheless. Would, we quality. would like it to be no. more alkaline than acidic, but baby, yeah, a coochie but baby, smell like coochie. Right. It ain't gonna smell like water. It ain't gonna taste like Niggas either. be lying. Lying. Yo, but that pussy just smell like EVR. Like, that's what. <laughs> the part is, the pussy smell like a pussy. Okay. Meow. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. One way or another, it's cat, bitch. What? <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. Listen, Listen cat. you just but I hope she been drinking because water. I feel like okay. that. Like, yeah, like, that's that's what what I ain't gonna lie, because she been I drinking it. Analogy, I put this analogy with like Layla, right? No matter how many times I give Layla a bath, wash her up, give her all this, and she still smells like a dog. Yeah. Like she could, I could put all the mango, but like everything, and I'm it's, like, I can smell the mango. It's that doggy smell. But it's still yeah. a dog. Still like a dog like is that. a dog, just like a motherfucking coochie. A coochie. It's a, it's a motherfucking coochie. It's a clean coochie. It could be a clean coochie. Because when dog gave us these coochies, he said, now let my will be done. When you walk up in a spot, they're going to know a coochie been here. Oh. Not a dick. A coochie. <laughs> and I don't mean that to be like, you know, disruptive to anybody's soul. But you gotta if a man you been say. fucking a coochie, it's going to smell like a coochie. If it been something else, you're going to be able to tell. That's all I'm saying. That, and that's all good. We have, we have a trademarked aura yeah. about ourselves. Definitely. And yeah. if we do the right thing, it smells yeah, okay. it's like, like, yeah, it's like, yeah. Like, yeah. Now, if we had too many drinks, ate too much cheese and <laughs> shit, then now it's going to be on us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> ah, your 
pH is off. Listen, your, your pH, pH is off. <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Honey Pot. That baby is oh, it. Oh, yes, okay? yes, Love yes. Honey, honey Pot, fuck with her. I use, I use her little, her little yeah. wash, her sensitive wash. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. don't be, listen, like and don't be using hilarious. no soap down there, y'all. If it's yeah, smelling no, a little no, different, no, change, change up. Yeah, change yeah, your yeah, regimen, baby. Get you some salt. Y'all are funny as shit. Exactly. Feminine. Before we got, uh, get out of here, I do want to talk about something. One last thing. They talking about we about to go back on lockdown. So I had a I question. Pray. <laughs> we was on lockdown for a while. Pandemic did its pandemic thing. That fucking peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> Puny. That Puny. That shit was crazy. Yeah. That pussy papa. Yeah. Panda. <laughs> so, yeah, it's what I was saying, because it had its effect on me. But I had a question. Okay, boom. We're going to shut down because already DC done already mandated their mask back today. Mm-hmm. Period. It doesn't matter where you are. Da da da. Mask is back on. Fully vaccinated or not. That lime, that lime said blowing this pops was saying. Okay, and I'm still like, got him. <laughs> So, my car is still here. I'm, I'm still standing. <laughs> Great. Stand. I'm over here battling. Uh, no, it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> um, all I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah, know, yeah. Let's like, like, be tired of me. Um, what is something? What's a tip from the pandemic the first time that you could take going in to this next one? That boom, this pandemic absolutely gotta. What is something you hmm. leaving behind? And what is something you gonna try? Because motherfuckers, I'm leaving behind the pandemic. I don't know <laughs> what y'all got going on, but I'm not going on lockdown again. No, for if real. If I got a motherfucking spend ninety days in another fucking country, on, country, 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 then I'm gonna have to do that. But honestly, I feel like I was born free. And <laughs> I'm not going back into motherfucking captivity. I'm not going back. I am a free animal. Oh, wait, are I'm y'all, not vaccinated? Going back are y'all vaccinated? Yeah. You're vaccinated. But how are you going to renege it? Like, you can't do that. We just. Right, go. you can't be like, yeah. get that shit back. Like, yeah, you can't yeah. do that. Like, Give us a this little is taste. people's yeah. freedom. Yeah. And yeah. honestly, that's why people have crazy now because we stuck in a house and the four walls is caving in on Real us. Shit. Yeah. We can't really do shit. We can't go out. We can't talk to now people. I'm we can't socially, like, you know, yeah. intermingle. Like, that's a problem. So I feel like they yeah. better figure it out. They better figure out the motherfucking <laughs> vaccine strand or the Delta strand or they yeah. better fucking get it no together bullshit. or something because mm-hmm. this lockdown shit is not funny. It ain't funny. It's not. Okay. They talk about some COVID in her line system need yeah. to get the fuck. Not nah, she do. <laughs> and her oh motherfucking and her motherfucking tail need to get the fuck on. Like, yeah. that's all I'm saying. Like, she the, she the ace and yeah. the motherfucking Delta strand yeah. is a tail and everything in between need to get the fuck on. Like, yeah. honestly, yeah. I don't have time to be sitting here like, all these fucking strands coming yeah. out. Like, yeah. What else am I supposed to do here? Like, I have no other right. option. Like, yeah. how, like, I done already um, raised a kid to one years old in yeah. a damn panini. I don't okay. want to do another one. Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I don't even know. Like, I feel like, honestly... I ain't get my titties out of the house, so there you have it. Yeah. <laughs> I realized Mayor. that the pandemic actually burnt me out. So, like, now, like, outside's been open. Like, I've been going crazy because I've been working from home for two years. I was going crazy. The kid was virtual schooling from yeah. home. Yeah. I cooked yeah. everything crazy. I could fucking cook. Baked everything I could motherfucking bake. DIY'd everything I could fucking DIY. Okay. <laughs> I was stir crazy. So, yeah. now I was talking, I gotta, like, I gotta go. Like, I can't yeah. sit still, but... And, it, and I feel like it affected me in a way, like like you said, like I feel like I just miss like going to work in D.C., like the scenery, just taking the train and the work, mm-hmm. the people, the conversation. Mm-hmm. Like You know what I miss? Yeah. Like, and it yeah. was really just fucking with knowing me. Knowing that I, I can. can. Period. Exactly. Even mm-hmm. if I don't today, I can tomorrow. Yeah. 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 I miss that luxury. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, a tip that I'm going to take is um, nothing because honestly- Pandemic is just, Here's a tip: yeah. If we go yeah. back on lockdown, talk to your therapist about prescribing there we something because you're gonna need it. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say. I don't even I, know. I'm gonna have to need therapy. If yeah, I'm going like I think we all because, are. Honestly, uh, I feel like uh, hopefully they know that they can't really do that. I mean, you can, but like it's yeah. gonna be given a purge. Yeah, yeah. Back yeah. On yeah. Lockdown yeah. Shit. yeah. yeah. Get back on lockdown. Nobody like yeah. who really like honestly on the hierarchy of needs. You know what's on it? Interpersonal relationship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I'm in a fucking house looking at my four walls and the same motherfucking people I see every goddamn day from wake up to sleep time. Yeah. Like, how the hell am I gaining anything, learning anything, yeah, nothing. experiencing anything new? Yeah. Right, That's right. No, no, no. No. I think people know that we need social drinking. We need hugs. We need handshakes. Yeah. We yeah. need... Double cheek kisses. We need yeah. travel. Mm-hmm. We need mm-hmm. to see new things. We need hookah. That's what helps humans grow evolve and, and, yeah. and see. What I, you know, what I will say is, potential. you know, I definitely appreciated just being able to have more time with 
family intimacy, and stuff. like yeah. family and stuff. Because I think when it did slow down, everything was so intimate. Like you probably go over your favorite family member house, everybody come over there, or your favorite friend house, everybody come over there. It was real intimate, so it created a lot of intimate bonding time just for, for me, your immediate. Circle. I'm sick of my family. Honestly, you know what I'm gonna say? I was already on lockdown before lockdown came because I was pregnant. Right, oh, yeah. right, you right. Over it, over it. It. So I'm two years in this fucking. Yeah. No I don't want no, no more yeah, reasons. No parts. No parts of yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I got married in middle of 2019. No, early 2019. That was what May. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So April May ish of 2019. Yeah. yeah. Then I had I was pregnant by September. Yeah. yeah. My man ain't playing no games. I was pregnant Period. by September. But I had been pregnant for two months in September. Yeah. So let that mm-hmm. sit yeah. in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Then I had a baby in fucking April yeah. and yeah. it was given, yep, you having a baby in a pandemic. Nobody yeah. can come to the hospital. Yep. Nobody, nobody can, can do you. Yeah. Nobody can do anything. And then it was a panini for a whole nother year after yeah. that. Yeah. So for me, I'm like, no, get me out of this yeah. little ass sandwich. Absolutely. I'm ready to fucking <laughs> it's a be sandwich. Yeah, yeah. It's like I a would sandwich. feel the same way. Yeah. It's a fucking sandwich. No, uh, get me out of here. I'm living yeah. with basically I was already little dudes. Pandemic. No, 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 no. I was yeah. already yeah. fucking couldn't drink, couldn't go nowhere for real. I know. It's like pandemic. I was like, wait, who you talking to? Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Plug yourself. Yes. Tell people where they can find you. You can follow me at Paris Lavette. That's L A V E T. It's my middle name. Yes. Yes. Paris. Yes. Paris. Yes. Yeah, it's the Paris. Paris. Yes, Paris. Thank y'all. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I'm so excited. I'm yes. Like, yes. Now we yes. appreciate you for coming. You are such a vibe. Yes. Thank Lady. You. Beautiful. You know, we got something cooking up for y'all coming. Um, you know, after we get with Brittany, we'll talk about it next episode. But we got a lot we're working on. So definitely, definitely stay tuned. Yeah. Um, I hope y'all have a good week. Yes. We're going to have a great week. Back next week. I'm a actually on my way out to Baltimore later tonight. My friend is in town. She tea? wrote a book. So she's doing oh. a book release oh. party. Oh, and hey. it's also my birthday. Yeah. It's Leo season. Congrats. Okay. Okay. Yeah. My daughter's a Leo and they're leo in. Yeah, oh, they're yeah. leo in. Yeah. So I'm excited yeah. about that. Get to see her. I haven't seen her since I went to Atlanta. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. This nice. Fun. nice. Exciting. I definitely hope everybody has a great week. Um, Lex, shout out to Lex in the city. That um, Mango lemonade, it. margarita, it was so Like honestly, I'm like okay, but I'm not okay. But I know I'm gonna Same. feel it when I stand up. Okay, so I'm, I'm just definitely like gonna feel it on the ride. Time. Look, I've been fighting mm-hmm. yeah. the bathroom. I'm like okay, like this. Yeah, I gotta pee too. <laughs> We always gotta pee. Shout out to the gang. Thank you, Lante Base God, Leo, Gio. Shout Lugano. out to the gang. Oh, Leo, yeah. Gio, the hey. Leo. It's a season. Yeah, hey. yeah. Shout out to the gang. You already know what it is. The Her. Gemini Scorpio podcast are out. Episode seventy four. Hey, hey, Killer hey. Bay, we here. <laughs>